And we're on. Welcome. Let me just adjust the volume a little bit. Check, check, check. Uh, welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles. I am not alone tonight. Tanya will be here any second. Uh, she's just getting ready. Uh, we have got five games tonight. All work in progress. Come on in. Uh, this is Tanya. Hello. She is late. I am late. I <laughs> just got home, ate, ran down here. <laughs> so we're going to be playing five work-in-progress games today, uh, four of which are brand new, never mm -hmm. played on the show, Exciting. and revisiting one uh, game we haven't looked at in a while. Uh, it's going to be uh, Daredevil, uh, Chaotic Grill, oh, Daredevil by Muddy Funster, mm -hmm. Chaotic Grill, by Splendid Nut, who is in the chat. Yeah. Shark Jaws Plus by Wink Dot, who I think might be in the chat. <laughs> Snowflakes 2018 by LulKiu64. Uh, I saw they just signed up to uh, the YouTube page, so maybe they'll be in tonight nice. watching, nice. or maybe tomorrow. Yeah. And Blue yes, Blue Swimmer, hey. <laughs> Tumble Temple by Blue Swimmer. That'll be our fifth game tonight. Nice. So if you're not watching at 60 frames a second, make sure you are, or you're missing half the video game, literally. Oh. <laughs> um, because some people message me. Mm. I, I get it from time to time saying, your stream's all screwed up, uh... and I can't see things on it, and it recorded badly. No, it's you. It's not me. <laughs> uh, we recorded 60 frames a second because the Atari outputs at 60 frames a second mm. and uses tricks um, to get more horsepower mm. out of the Atari. So if you're not watching at 60 frames a second, make sure you are. And and, and in essence, um, watching it on your TV wouldn't work. Am I correct in thinking that? Depends what TV you have. Yeah, Depends but most, what broadcasting a, lot of, you have. a lot of TVs, like Chromecast doesn't work. and If you have a 60 yeah. pre frames per second Chromecast, it does. It does, okay. It depends on a lot of things. Okay. So you just have to make sure. But computers, usually that's not a problem. Oh yeah, computers yeah. are fine, tablets are fine, phones are fine right off the bat. Yeah. Um, you have to have a more modernish TV, TV? Yeah. within the last five-ish years yeah. or so, and also a something that can broadcast to it at 60 frames a second, like a PS4, mm -hmm. Xbox One, Ultra Chromecast, Apple so the TV. Ultra, the Ultra Chromecast does? Has 60 frames a second, okay. yeah. Good to know. And uh, hello, MK Smith AU, <laughs> would be the AU be gold? MK Smith Gold. Or Australia. Or Australia, know. yes. <laughs> Welcome. I wonder what time it is in Australia. I think they're like back, so they're fine. Uh, they're like a day ahead. Australia. But, there we go. There uh -huh. we got it. They're like a, Gold works too. A day ahead, <laughs> but back a couple hours, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, Depends yeah. where in Australia. That's pretty fun. I want to thank all the people in the chat and the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. Mm -hmm. Charles and Check, Gretams, Ground Trooper, I is posted, Jeffrey twenty one twenty three, Johnny WC twenty three, Mister Fix, Muddy Funster. Retro Apri Hour, D Tiki Dan K, and Train Tech 86. And you can uh, support the show as well by subscribing uh, for free through mm -hmm. Amazon Prime to Twitch Prime. Click subscribe, then you'll be all good. Mm -hmm. um, I did have a poll question, but I didn't get time to type it in, so we'll save it for Friday's show. Mm -hmm. um, mail, news, and feedback. Um, Spiceware posted a couple days ago in the forums um, giving an update on what's going on with him. Uh, it's Daryl Spice Jr. He said, I just wiped my Mac Pro just before the holidays. I need to get my development environment set back up. Once done, I'll resume work on Spice C, which is the compiler programming mm. environment that he's mm -hmm. creating um, for making more advanced games. Not the assembly, but it's, uh, it's the language that's used on the chips. Yeah, so on the, the hardware itself. On the hardware within the cartridges. Uh, yeah. yeah, the advanced... Yeah arm chip mm. um, and with a remake of Space War as the initial test project so mm. that will be his next game mm. Space War is one of the first games ever made first video games ever made ever made yeah cool. it's like a little planet in the middle two ships fly around there's gravity on the planet mm. they're shooting each other and it wasn't put out as like the first arcade game because it was too complex for people mm. they didn't understand it so they went for Pong. I'm just noting they're mentioning there's a video and audio sync issue. Oh, God. 
that's not good. <laughs> I thought I fixed all of that. Um, okay. Uh, I don't not know what safe. I'm going to be able to do that with, with that right now. Um, because I actually, <laughs> oh my God, I've been messing with my that, browser yeah, for two okay. minutes. Oh, okay. So close your eyes and just listen to me for a second. Yeah. <laughs> because my mouth will not be moving at the same time yeah. uh, that you'll hear the words. Um, I thought I had actually fixed all of these issues. Yeah. Um, because I was playing with it the other day. Oh no, okay. Making it better. And I had got everything frame perfect. Better than it was ever. Yeah. Um, but obviously... It is not yeah. <laughs> frame perfect. Uh, so sometimes our end, it goes out. So what I'm going to do right now is watch the stream on my end here. So okay. you're just going to have to hang in with Hold me. On. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Uh, because I want to see what is actually happening here. Um, and see what it looks like. So I, I do apologize for that. I was actually trying to make it better. And in essence, made it actually much worse. So we're here in Portland. Nope, not Portland. So let's watch the stream. Okay. Just hang, hang on. <laughs> Careful with the sound, right? Yeah, they can hear. I'm not talking. So let's watch All right. the stream. Okay. Just hang, hang on. I feel like there's going to be some <laughs> so it's like knuckle mode. <laughs> White knuckle oh, mode, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> so I'm going to just do something here. So it's like... White knuckle mode, yeah. So I'm going to just do something here. Oh, so it's like one... One or two seconds? It's like half a second to a second out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Audio before the video. Uh, okay. Before. Interesting. I'm going to do some live alterations here to make it a little bit better. Um, Should we play something, a game, no. music, or would that not... No, work? I need to test it exactly here. Okay. So the, the audio is before the video, so I'm going to put a delay of five, half a second. So here we go. Meaning my Twitch messed up playback. Se second seven's out here. Yeah. Yeah, mine, mine was pretty good. They were pretty f pretty fast catching up, so. Mm. Sorry. That was loud for all headphone users. Audio before video. Now audio's after video. Was it before? That's what they were saying. Uh, I suppose that's much closer, and I think other people are seeing a delay. <laughs> <laughs> closer? I don't think it's closer. It wasn't no. closer for me. Um, so let's try it again. Do you want me to sit outside while you do it? No, and just watch don't the video? say anything. No. Closer? I don't think it's closer. It wasn't closer for me. Um, so let's try it again. Do you want me to sit outside while you do it? <laughs> That might be it. Slight delay now. It, you clapped. You want me to do it again? It's okay now, people are saying. Spot on that time. Oh, really? I need to pause my playback here. Or crash it out or something. There we go. Start it up again. Spot on that time. Oh, really? Check, check, check. Problem is, if we're not saying anything, we're not going to hear ourselves say anything. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's uh, pretty good. They're saying, see, is, if spot on. <sighs> okay. I don't know. If you guys think it's good, we'll continue on. <laughs> um, but it's not super great when I looked at it, but eh. Let me, um, I'm going to run upstairs. Okay, grab your, grab your, uh. Yeah. Cell phone or something. Yeah. Uh, okay, so hey, let's continue on with the news. Uh, as I bought 67, it's perfect. It may not be perfect with the video games, though. 
we'll see how that happens. But it's better that we're in sync than the video games. If those are out a bit, that's okay. Anyway, uh, so Space War is going to be his first project. And then he says after that, he'll be rebooting, rebooting Frantic, which is awesome. And Timmy, which is super awesome, which is like a Jumpman Jr. kind of game, Jumpman game. And use Spicy as the second and third Spicy test project. So hopefully his new environment, test, uh, Spicy, will be a very fast um, uh, developing environment for uh, him and others to make new games. Uh, and speaking of Daryl Spice Jr., I was just going to mention that the program I use to sync, is it actually works really well, but for some reason maybe it goes out of sync when it's a different sync, when it's going across the internet, than it is locally, because I tested it locally, and it was, mm, it was within one frame of error. So what I'm going to do right now is show you the program that I used to do the syncing. Uh, let me load it up. Just one second, please. Okay. So, what I used is a program called SyncPop. And it does a countdown on the screen and also gives a little pop, a red, um, a red dot on the screen. Oh, is the volume already? There we go. Turn up the volume a little bit. Let's see if it does the pop. There. It's a little red square in the middle of the screen when it changes from uh, to two seconds left or three seconds. So tell me if the sound of the red is in sync with, with, oh, it would help if I uh, turned on the sound for the Atari. Okay, here it goes. There was no sound before. When it gets down to two seconds, you'll see a red square on the screen. There. Now, was that in sync for everyone out there? So we're doing live troubleshooting. Terrible, 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 terrible. Uh, seems good? Okay, good. So it's somewhat in sync. Yes, excellent. So we're fully working now. Hooray. Okay, let's switch back. Okay, so now I can actually thank Daryl. Because um, <laughs> Daryl Spice Jr. sent me that program. Um, so I can do synchronizations of um, everything. Because, uh, well, at least the video game system. And what I did is pointed the camera at the TV, the webcam at the TV, the audio here. Is it fine? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks better now. Magic just did it on the fly. I just threw it up. Put it I'm on my, my that laptop. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> at correcting my own mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> at least on my laptop, it was looking fine. So, oh, yeah. good. That's that's good. Um, so that's Sync Pop. If you ever wanted to have, it's very specialized program. Mm. If you wanted to synchronize your Atari with some other external, uh, with audio mm. of the Atari and the video of the Atari, so that's what it's used for. And also very handy for synchronizing external microphones and video because I pointed my video camera at the screen for synchronization. Okay. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. It took me hours to figure it out, but I actually figured it out, but I actually didn't. Yep. But I'll be doing more testing. Yeah. Um, and uh, the first ColecoVision homebrew game will be here soon. I'll turn off that beep. Sorry, everybody's still hearing that. Um, I was contacted by Rocket Monkey 101 in the Atari Age forums, and he's going to be sending me uh, the homebrew ColecoVision game Risky Rick, which was released mm -hmm. late 2018. Uh, so he's already put it in the mail. It's on the way. Um, it's in LA right now and on its way. Mm -hmm. um, and it's unopened, so we'll actually be doing an, un an unboxing of it as well. Uh, live on the show mm -hmm. probably next wednesday maybe next friday depending on the timing of when it gets here but it's already on its way so it should be here for next wednesday's nice. show so and i of course last episode i showed you that i got the call usb coleco usb power adapter mm -hmm. which um, provides a lot cleaner power for the coleco vision 
And now I'm not afraid to use it because I've heard horror stories about Clecos blowing up okay, because of their terrible that. power. No, 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 no. <laughs> or, you know, terrible screen. And there's a question by Zybot67 mm -hmm. about your beer. Yes, my beer is the Lion's Winter Ale, which is actually domestic. Very domestic. Um, from Granville Island Brewing here in Vancouver. So, and it's it's kind of a sweeter, got a bit of a vanilla flavor to it. It's mm. a sweeter ale. Anyway. Thank you for asking. <laughs> so we're going to go on to our first game, which mm. is Daredevil by Muddy Funster. And uh, Muddy Funster also made the games Tire Tracks and Space Bank. Mm -hmm. um, did you ever play Tire Tracks? I saw Where you. I watched you play. Okay. I haven't played it. Where you're no. a BMXer and you're yep. avoiding things and yep. you can fall in the water. I think it goes I... to a separate screen when you die. It's very cool. Yeah, I think I watched you and Erlen play it. Oh, okay. One day I, I kind of popped down and you were playing it, if I'm not mistaken. But I haven't played Probably. it myself. Probably. Yep. Hold down the middle button. Because we played it on the Halloween show because it has kind of a Halloween-y level. Yeah, they did have That's a... That's yeah. probably where you saw us play. Okay, so down to... Actually, over. Because there you go. That's today's. And let's turn on... Daredevil is the one we want. There you go. That one? Yep. The line. So it's got four different... Uh, 2018, nice little, there, Muddy Vision. He's got his own little logo. Nice. Lewis Hill, 2018. <laughs> There's four game variations. So we'll start with game number one. And I was actually lucky enough to play this on uh, December 21st um, before the public release of the game because nice. he sent it to me That's really to do nice. some uh, game testing. He didn't want it on the show yet. He no, just wanted me to, to play around with it. Yeah. And that was, uh, that was great. So this build is fresh from yesterday. Okay. So it's brand new, brand nice. new, just came out. Uh, and Mr. Vic says bad power supplies can kill a C64 as well. Yeah. I am planning on buying, or did I buy? I don't know. I have so much stuff into my backlog. Mm. A <laughs> Commodore 64 power supply. Mm. I think I bought a new one because I, I had heard of that as well. So go for it. Um, inspiration. Uh, 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 what am I, doing? I recently played a 2600 go uh, game called Parachute. Actually... Let's play that first. Um, so hold okay. it down. Okay. Yeah. So go to games. So well, let's look at his inspiration for this game first. Um, so it was a 2600 game called Parachute. And I'd never played this before. You can go to the right. Yeah, it'll take you forever if you don't. There you go. Oh, it's pal. This may go crazy for a second. Yeah, it's going to go crazy, but it'll come back. Blue... Black, yeah, Frame Meister will figure it out, and the colors are probably going to be crazy. So, oof, crazy sound. Too loud when I turn it on. Ooh, it is loud. There we go. Are you able to play it? I, I am moving, okay. floating downwards. I'm assuming that <laughs> so is you're the kind purpose. of playing it. So it looks like some planes. Oh, is it like Frogger, but you're in the sky? Flip. Kind of like Frogger, I guess. You're trying to get across the screen. As if there's some wiggling clouds and some spinning. Oh, some geese there. Some helicopters. And it's using, uh, making use of the uh, triplicate uh, size. That's a proper color screen. Uh, Whoa! It's like a garden spot. I guess you're infiltrating. Kind of went into the ground. Oh! Okay, maybe we're supposed to go in the middle. Or not. Or it's broken. <laughs> or it's just a broken game. Ah, oh, you can't die anywhere. What? What is going on here? Game's too loud. It is pretty what loud. What is going game. on? Anyway, we got the idea. We're not yeah. actually playing that game. <laughs> okay, hold it down. We're not actually going to be playing Parachute. Yeah, lots of technical issues today. <laughs> Well, that's not a technical issue. Well, that's just a game that I'm not prepared for. So you can go to the right. There you go. Oh, or up. Or up. Yeah, it flips around. So we're going to actually play Daredevil. We got a quick look at it. Mm -hmm. So that's his inspiration. Um, and despite what I call odd execution choices and grating music, <laughs> yes, it was not good. Uh, the actual game kept me coming back for another go. I decided just a quick test. I'll. 
I'd pull together. Now you can start it. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> what am I doing? Playing as best you can. <laughs> oh, thanks. Before I start the actual instructions. Okay. Game one. Uh, I pulled together a test bin to see if I could do something in, similar in BB and well. That little test turned into a few late night coding sessions over the holidays and then into a full project and has put Space Bank on the back burner for a bit. So Daredevil is intended to be something of an homage remaster of my take on Parachute. Uh, and thank you, I suppose, to, for letting me know the sound was very loud and possibly grating on your ears. There's not much sound, I think, in this unless you die. So you're not going to be hearing anything. Uh, playing. Right now there are four game modes. Each one starts with the associated level for testing purposes. Game mode one is level one and so on through four. Okay, so you can advance while playing or you can advance yourself. Uh, avoid obstacles like air, hot air balloons and airplanes as you fall. Birds won't kill you, but will knock you off slightly off your path. Oh, so we'll have to run into some birds at some point and see what happens. Maybe that can be used as a benefit in tricky situations. As you progress through each level, uh, screen in the level, you will speed up a little, starting slow, eventually going fast, quite fast. Land in the circle for maximum points. If you're going too fast, you will crater. Weather vane in the bottom right shows the direction of the wind currently. Level one has no wind. Controls. Fire start after selecting your game. Fire also starts you on the intro screen. If it pauses, it's usually waiting for you to press fire. Left and right to move left and right. Down to speed up a little, like a zoom mode. Useful for zooming through small gaps. Up to slow your descent by about 30%. Useful for those, oh my god, I misjudged how, next, how close the next obstacle is moments. Scoring. Score points by progressing through each level and landing. Tips, glide into the wind, uh, gliding into the wind is slow, but going with the wind is fast. Use this to your advantage. Don't be afraid to use the whole width of the screen. The first level, uh, the first screen in each level is intentionally slow, so you can get to grips with the level thinking of removing this. A timely zoom can be a lifesaver. So you have figured up and down. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why does you, it go you to have one life. I wonder why it goes to game four. Or were you holding something? Uh, maybe? No, I was probably um, on the fourth level, right? Because it just, it, it, that's your level selection? No, Is that no, what no. you said? Whole thing, you have to land, and then it goes to oh, the next level. Oh, okay. So you're still on level I'm one. I'm still on level You've one. You've now okay. completed level one. Yeah. You only get one life, though. Uh, I think it's just for testing. Yeah, right but now. I'm just saying you yeah. really... You it goes just, to the title screen? It time? goes to the title screen. You oh, die once, okay. it goes to the title screen, so... Go, Tanya, go, Mr. <laughs> Fex is cheering you on. Yay! I don't know why that's on B. It shouldn't be on B. Or it shouldn't be on A. <laughs> run! Actually, I want to see what happens when you run into geese. He says they just push you and you don't die. Mm. And if you notice, as you go to the next screen, everything's in the same position. Yes. So you should look where the, the top thing is for where you are going to land. Mm-hmm. So you're going to land right on... Oh. But they, but they do change speed and, and look. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how he did the triple, uh, double, triple collisions. I found no info on that. Took a while to code myself. Well, collisions are just um, automatic as far as I know. It just senses. Um, no, you died. You have to how do slow. I slow down? Press up. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I thought uh, collisions on the Atari, when you do triplicates, are just automatic detections when anything touches anything. And it just knows, oh, player one has touched player zero, therefore set this, um, uh, oh, what's it called? <laughs> set an X in a, in a, a, a bit. Um, for, and then the, the, your program would read that bit to say, Oh, you have touched a player against a player, or a player against a play field, or a player against a ball. It will hard hardware collision on the first of the three copies. Really? It doesn't detect collisions on the second and third copy of a player? That seems mysterious. Because then you'd never be able to figure out 
any time you've collided with something except for doing a compare of screen positions of everything. Press up. Yay! He's not dead. Level two. My turn. Level two? You want to do level two? Yep. Okay. I've played it. I've played it on the computer. Oh, you have? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now there is a bit of wind pushing to the left. You can see by yeah, the, the weather vane. Yeah, I can see drifting. Vein. Yeah. And the weather vane on the bottom left. Mm hmm I believe the wind doesn't change in level two. It's just the same wind all the way down. And it is quite a fight. Oh, oh, it does change. No, because the, 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 the weather vane changed. Yeah, it's now I'm facing the pushed. other direction. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh. Should have, like, went around it. See, last time something hit me, it just went back to the title screen. I didn't oh. fall to the bottom. So what something happened? funny happened then. It, on it, level one. On level Might one. Might be a bug. Maybe. Because I just reset with one less yeah, life. Yeah, you did, and I I, that's left. not what happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Try a to good make idea. It up. Go to the left when you have as a gap. As much as possible, yes. Yeah. Oh, now it's going to the left. Oh, no wonder it's so easy. But you do have to use your wind <laughs> to your Splat. the wind to your advantage. Yeah, oh, I can see that. Oh, and changing. it does it does. You can see it flips screen yeah. to screen. Hmm, interesting. So it's not as easy as mm. it seems it would be whoa whoa whoa, whoa have whoa, you whoa. noticed they slow down though yeah there's something there's, really they're weird they're not quite even in their speed as you as slow you yourself down they're slowing down to a little yeah. bit so somehow your control like if i press the left like they're slowing and speeding up yeah the speed of your enemies are not constant so, slow down no yeah you only have to do it to the last second oh really oh that's yeah. good to know Bullet time. Yes. <laughs> it's a feature, not a bug. You want to do level three? Sure. I'll probably die, though. <laughs> that was not Too bad. easy, but it well, wasn't hard. I, but you didn't die, die. I, I died are there once. Extra, are there extra lives in there? Not so far. No, no, but I mean, there was something at the top. I, I'm, is oh, there at the it top? is. Oh, there it is. Not oh, during the interstitial stuff. So. <gasps> Whoa. Now they're all over the place. Oh, they're trying to get you. Gretam says, use that wind. It's not easy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, he got me. Oh, did make a little noise. Did he? Yeah, go spot. Oh, oh crashed out. Is it happens? actually crashed? Oh. oh, no. Oh, no, I'll have to reset it. Bug. Oh, no. Found a bug. Flickered and died. Pull down the button. Keep holding. There you go. Up. Yeah. So we'll start on level three. See if it happens again when you die on level three. No, nope, oh. that's level one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, he hasn't implemented any of the switches yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they move vertically. Well, you can, go like you can this. turn it off and on if you want. Uh, to start at level three just again. Die. It seems that you go to the title screen when you die on level one. Nope, there's the noise. Press button. Just die three times. Nice. Yep. Press button. Oh, okay. So, uh... <laughs> it's not liking that. It's not, but it did go back to the title screen before. It did for your, it did for me. I didn't get ex any any Spend. lives at all, and it would go back to the title screen. So there are there are a few bugs in there. Yeah. So when it's trying to go back to the title screen, it's you start at one again. Oh no, this is no three. no no because we They're want moving. to go to three. They try to get you. They, not consciously, I think. They're just kind of the once place. in a while moving around. Very agile. They all kind of they like kind of move in sync. A little bit. Sometimes nice. they get out of your way. Sometimes, sometimes they go in your they path. Go in your way. Yeah. Cool. But the just like tire tracks, the colors and detail on everything is very good in this game. Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's so weird because some things... Oh. oh. Some things are faster than... Oh. oh. 
some screens are faster than others. Oh my god. So you have the wind and they're moving. Yeah, no, that's pretty good. <sighs> makes for makes for a challenging game. Definitely does. That's challenging. The wind does it. Oh no. It's not good with real hardware. Yeah. Yeah, so clearly, no, clearly that was the end of your game because there's one yes. parachute left, so it was one, two, three. Each parachute is the one you're using, so. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, it's not so like you didn't normal. have an extra life. That was your third life. It's I not think. like normal video and games. And it, it just hasn't. They're not back. reserves. I, yeah. I would suggest changing that because I think 99% of games use. Well, the, the icon extra shows life what's as, what's waiting, as, right? Like that extra life usually. that's waiting, or your extra on this game. It, this yeah. game it doesn't. Yeah, it's the current one you're on. Mm. Pull down the button. Mm -hmm. Go. Sometimes you have to reset it twice when it crashes out with a video crash, um, because it's like fiddling with the frame meister. Frame meister is trying to figure out what it was sent to it. Okay. And it, uh, no, not game one. I thought we were, okay. <laughs> we're trying to get through game three. Okay. There you go. Oh. That almost oh, didn't work. Oh, almost. So close. Ah! <laughs> uh, okay. I suppose says I had to use loops and math. Maybe all copies trigger collision, but if you want to figure out, oh, yes, if you want to figure out which of the three you collided, you need math. Yes. Mm. This doesn't need to figure out which causes a collision. No, because there's no, no difference on which one it, it doesn't care about which causes a collision it just like it knows a collision happened and you just fall down <laughs> where you are so there's no so if you're say you're shooting things and you need that thing to disappear like the guy is able to take out one of those balloons you will have to use math to figure out which one of those um, based on your position and their position to get rid of it blue summer says yes all three trigger collision I use the hardware collisions in Balloon Trip. Ah, uh, yes. Based on the sprite coordinates. Yes, that's right. So you will have to use math. Oh! Ooh, I knew I was getting too close. And also the color of the... Oh, oh, too close. Color of the sky changes as you go further and further down. It gets lighter and lighter. It's a nice little touch. Whoa, that was close. Oh, so let me read out what he has uh, still planned to add into the game so we can see if we can uh, make suggestions. So more sound effects, obviously. It's very silent game right now. Uh, title tune, open to anyone who wants to volunteer. <laughs> uh, more levels, uh, varied movement and challenges. Is that your last life? Yeah. Want to play? Uh, yeah, hold it down, please. See, I have to reset it twice. So, start with the second things he wants to add. More levels, varied movement and challenges. Yep. Um, refine the levels and add a total of 10 to 15. Uh, bonus balloons, pick these up for points. Ooh. Temp power-ups, magic, stuff, etc. Oh, slow down. <laughs> Bonus balloons, what? What pick, else? Pick these up for points. Okay, yeah. Temp power ups. Okay. Magic stuff, etc. Okay. Yeah. So things he's still working. Yep. Um, add clouds, won't hurt you, but you can't see in a cloud. Right. Yeah, that's that would a good be very addition. Cool. Yeah. Big clouds floating by. Yeah. Better game over screen, maybe a game over short tune. Mmm. Open to volunteers. Yep. <laughs> Are you supposed to? <laughs> <laughs> Higher levels, obstacles on landing, oh moving God. obstacles, guys with spears, buildings, spears. other random stuff. Oh, at the bottom. Towards the bottom. Right, yeah. right, right. Then landing, varied points awarded depending on where you land. I think that's that's pretty cool, especially yes. if you have bullseyes. If you land perfectly um, centered. That would be a really good addition. Uh, moving landing points, such as a boat truck. Ooh, yes. Yeah, to be determined. That would be good. Uh, making it more difficult right now. It's way too easy. Not for me, apparently. <laughs> uh, I'm still getting used to it. Level three is challenging. Uh, yeah, sure. no, it's it's pretty cool. Good um, ramp up. Scoring overhaul. Just test score. Just test scoring right now. So, right, just yeah. random yeah. numbers. Or just screen to screen or time or whatever. Yeah. 
Fast, fast, fast. Oh! oh. oh gotcha. Mm. Last life. Oh, oh and crash done. <laughs> Maybe it'll correct itself if we live wait long enough. Um, yeah, that's that's what I find with a lot of work in progress games. Um, their line count isn't perfect from screen to screen, so it crashes out on real hardware. Okay. Um, because the signals it's sending to the digital devices, yeah, the digital devices are going. I don't know what I'm getting. I'm just gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe they'll come back. Maybe they won't, depending how long mm -hmm. it sits in that. Mm -hmm. But usually TVs would say no signal or something mm. when it gets that. Um, but on, say, an emulator, it can handle any line count, no problem, mm. because it doesn't care. And also a CRT doesn't care as well. Mm. It just goes bleh, bleh. Yeah. It's just a dumb terminal. <laughs> and then it just, just goes crazy, but yeah. Yeah, it yeah. flips around. But it still or, works. Yeah. But it still yeah. works. Like, you'll see things. Yeah. But. So let's try level four. Okay. Just to see what it what looks, it looks like. like and what extras might be uh, in there. What's happening? That's... It's doing things. <laughs> <laughs> so select level okay. four. One, two. It needs to change the view to looking at the ground to a... Did you... Oh, level four. Change the looking at the ground in a cartoon dust cloud impact. Yeah. Yes. Poof. That would be amazing. That's a good... That would be a good addition. Good suggestion, I suppose. To. So they're... <laughs> They're moving really. Oh, oh, they're oh, birds. Oh, they pushed me. They the pushed me. Birds push you. That's lucky. Yeah. These are much more random. They're up and down. Oh, they're Whereas, constant moving yeah. up and down. The other ones were random up and down. These they felt. Like constant. In some ways, it's easier because their the movement is a bit more predictable. Whereas before, it just seemed like they. And then you still. Yeah, I would switch these levels around at this point, because these. I don't know. Is it harder because they're moving constantly yeah. or easier? I would think easier because you know exactly what's happening. Ah, uh, too close. <laughs> uh, stuck on the left. Oh, oh, it's only birds. Yeah, you have to try and stay almost center when at all times, but oh, the wind close. is so strong. Yeah, that level always seems to start off really fast. Ah, oh, you got oh, me. So you got close. me. Boo. <laughs> and crash. It's fast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Um, very cool. I like it. I like it. I, I think there are little little things. Some, um, you know, I like some of the suggestions he has there too, especially picking up little bonuses along the way. Um, yes. Uh, but like it's invincibility a good, or. It looks really good. Fast movement. And it has that kind of. You know, trying to avoid obstacles, frogger-ish kind of gameplay to it. So, and I, um, the the game we played initially, um, what is that an Atari game? The original parachute. Oh yes, that was a PAL, which means Europe yes. and other regions. Mm -hmm. um, so it never came out in North America, yes. but that was an original. I didn't notice the date on it, but uh, no, no, actually, it didn't have a date. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what the original mm -hmm. parachute. I don't know. It looks like an early game. Mm -hmm. So I'd say early 80s. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 80, yeah. 81, no, unless uh... just not a very ambitious programmer. <laughs> Looks very simple, anyway. It's simple, but it's nice, and it's it's yeah. the type of gameplay that makes it easy to play. And um, and I agree with IES Posta. Uh, I like the weather vane, too, to show the weather direction. Oh, it's great. So it pops up, and you're like, oh, it's going left, oh, it's going right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't know how strong it is though, but it at least it tells you the direction. You'll find mm -hmm. out how strong it is as soon as you start moving. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure that it can't be too strong because you need to be able to fight against it, or maybe not. Maybe there should be you fight it a little. varied amounts of well, wind. You, you could. I always think of like a little bit or a lot of wind. Commodore 64 golf game that I had where they actually had a wind sock. Yes. I think it had a wind sock, and 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 so you, there it had sort of both. You, it showed both the power of the wind and the direction when you were... Yes. Maybe it yeah. wasn't that game. Maybe I'm thinking of another one, but yeah. Oh, golf. Golf games do have... Definitely that. have yeah. a lot of wind. So it, I, I'm just... I think it was a wind sock, but I can't remember. Um, I can't really think of anything Golf more games. To there's add. something that you don't see much of anymore. No, they just released a golf game. Did for they the, really? For the Nintendo. For the Nintendo. Switch. Yeah. Yeah. It's called Golf Story. 
and it's like an RPG golf game. Oh, is it really? <laughs> I might have to try that out. Yeah. <laughs> if we ever get a Switch. <laughs> we will. Um, when the new ones come out next year. Yeah. My dad always liked golf and flight sim simulators, so we always had lots of... Uh, we had golf oh, and yeah, flight Oh, yeah, I loved playing golf in the C64. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. it was simple enough that it didn't get overly complex. You're just hitting a ball. You knew kind of direction, power, and that's yeah. it. Not, yeah. not too complicated. You get on the green, and it changed to a lower power of yeah. hitting it. And it was and always and it was always like hold the button for the the strength of the swing but you didn't want yes. to overhold it and it that the mechanics were just were simple enough and you could adjust it and I I always liked them they were fun games. Yeah. Hold it down please. Um anyway, so I digress. Any, <laughs> anything you can think of that uh, was not on the list that he said. Oh, uh, no, I know. It's I, pretty covered. It's pretty good, and it has a. It feels good. It, it's a fun game to play, and and you know you're it takes a bit of time to figure out. Okay, do I speed up or slow down to try and avoid obstacles so I can see? Uh, um, you know, you, it takes a bit of playing to get used to it and the mechanics and the wind and everything. But it's no, definitely not too it. easy. Yeah. No, and it and <laughs> it's it should very be. Challenging. Yeah. Level I mean, one and two. Fine. If you're playing it constantly, maybe it gets easy. But when you certainly when you're first playing it, it's not it's not a, not exactly easy to play. Yeah. So he's got yeah. the variation from from easy to Dude. very hard. Yeah. So that's good yeah. that the range is already built in there. Yeah. And then yeah, he just needs good. to adjust where those come in because he said he was yeah. gonna add uh, about ten to fifteen levels. That's very cool. Yeah. So that's that's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. No, good game. Good game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so the next one is Chaotic Grill. We have played this before. Have we? And this is a port of um, Burger Time. Oh, yeah, okay. So we're going to yeah. show Burger Time. Burger Time. Uh, on Iconic. Yes. So we're going to just take a, a brief glimpse at Burger Time for people who haven't seen it. Or mm. refresh people's mm. memories of what it is. And uh, you're making burgers, basically. So just give me one second and I'll bring it up on the screen. There we go. Oh, that's not the right screen capture. Uh-oh. Display zero? No, that's infinity. <laughs> How come it's not getting screen three? Oh, well, I'll use the other screen then. Because I have... Many. There we go. And it's the wrong size. <laughs> but I can fix that. Okay. There we go. Hair issues? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Click and click. You're going to see us looking to the left, though. Mm hmm. time. Let's skip ahead. Okay. Oh, we can see the chat still. Actually, this works out pretty good, except yeah. for us looking to the, to oh, the right there. Oh, it's not too bad. No. Not too bad. Okay. You can so see it well enough. Let's skip ahead there. So, you're a little so chef. Cute. You're so cute. Wandering around, <laughs> making burgers. Um, you do have a weapon. Oh, he's off, off the corner. There we go. Um, so you do have a weapon of pepper. You can sh mm. throw pepper at them mm -hmm. to kind of stun them a little bit. Um, and you want to capture... There you go. You want to capture them inside the buns mm -hmm. for points. And the objective is of every stage is to make a burger. Mm -hmm. Is to get all the burger pieces down to the bottom and uh, complete the burger. But at the same time, you can use the burgers as a weapon yeah, to, to get to get the to capture them. The capture and the there's guys. bonuses. There's an ice cream in the middle, but mm. there's too many guys there to get it. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so there was never a burger time released for the Atari, Atari 2600 because no. it is there's a lot going on. There's a lot yeah. of characters. What, it's a lot of detailed graphics. Do you know what it originated on? Was it an arcade game? Yes. So this is the arcade. Okay. Um, the arcade version. Oh, that's a very annoying annotation going on there there we go um oh there was a burger time my apologies <laughs> let's look at the other let's look at the atari 2600 burger time then okay um 
M networks. Oh, that's why I'm not thinking of it correctly. The M networks don't stand out in my mind very much. Okay, so let's back out of there and go take a look at the M networks. Yep, go up directory. They go to games. Go to B for burger time. Largest RAM in any game. Well, you do have a lot of things to keep track of. Um, because you can drop the burgers. There it is. Partly. Each burger piece you can partly drop. Plus all the plus all the characters as well. There they go. Oh, it went down. Sorry. It's uh Yeah, so they made <laughs> They only made rough. one sausage graphic because they oh, didn't want is... things to flicker. So they made the other enemies. One is a... <laughs> one is a... a ball. And the other two are missiles. <laughs> I suppose it says, love the breadstick. <laughs> yes, the breadstick. That's yeah, a breadstick. Let's say it's a breadstick. Oh, and what is that glitchy mess oh, there? Oh, it's the... The sausage. sausage was freaking out or something over there. Yeah. That's really funny. And the burgers are pretty much it's, just all it, yellow. It, um, it is a little rough. Until they hit the bottom and then they change colors. Uh, as Zybot says, so slow. <laughs> yeah, if you compare it to the arcade game, the arcade game moves a lot faster. And there's no reason why they couldn't make this faster. What is going on? hard on the ladders eh, to get the precise because you have to be yeah so if you don't give some leniency to ladders those games were always hard I remember playing games on the C64 breadstick got you <laughs> there was a breadstick there? I, I guess he wrapped around he must have um, where there's not a lot of lenience and where you hit the ladder so you have to be exactly centered on some games the red blotch that appeared is supposed to be fries. <laughs> it was a red blotch, oh, wasn't it? so funny. So rough. So rough. Anyway. It's so funny. I love it. <laughs> so, press the button, please. Now, let's see the new improved version. It's kind of like a, if uh, I was playing video games and I didn't have my glasses on. They're just yes. these blotches just moving blotches. across the screen. <laughs> so this is by Splendid Nut. Uh, uh, the the first post was back in December two, December fifteenth two thousand fifteen. He started this game three years ago. Okay, yeah. Just Takes over a bit three of time sometimes, right? <laughs> so this build was also you can yep. start it. Yep. This build was also released yesterday, January eighth okay. two thousand nineteen. So it's fresh off the press, fresh nice. off the grill. It already looks a billion times better. <laughs> Look at the chef. Yeah. Beautiful title screen. Work in progress. Yes. And nice colorful levels. Yeah. No, just oh geez, they move really fast. Look at it. Look nice. You can recognize what they are. The lettuce. I love um, the pickles. Huge. There's a huge pickle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got them. And there's two sausages. Ah! Two. Are those lettuces or? They... Oh. I don't know what they are, but they're big. Oh, there's an ice cream cone. Got it. Um, and you can see the. The tomato, there you got both of those guys. And the cheese, and the top of the bun, like they have color, they have shape. And they're, uh, go down. <laughs> they're all done with just play field. Those are not like really, really creative, the colors. And each level of the play field is a little bit different color. Um, really, really well done. Oh, it's really Pickles, good. they are pickles. Pickles! They're, big, they're pretty round. Oh, I guess they're pickle slices, oh. rather than full pickles. Oh, you got three there. Good job. Oh, all of them. Ice cream. Kicking ass. It's fun. <laughs> I, I, these guys are cute. I like them. There we go. Yeah, and they're, they're wiggly. They're great. They're wiggly. <laughs> this is an amazing conversion from uh, the arcade. Like, I don't think it could get much better. Uh, than this. Yeah, it um, looks really good. The only thing he hasn't um, put in is flicker management. As as you can see, everything oh, flickers okay. all the time. So once he puts in flicker management, it's going to look pristine. Mm. It's going to be so good. So when you... Oh, yeah. Some people, some other people have said the the ladder 
is not great right now yet. You have to be pretty precise. Mm. You can use the button to throw um, oh, I pepper I even tried if, that if you need it. But I don't think you have infinite pepper, so be careful. Is there... I don't see a... Tally, is there somewhere? Of... How much pepper I have? Uh, I think it's infinite. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, sprites are by Nostalgie37. Great name, Nostalgie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Fex has super improved over what we just saw. Oh, oh yeah. Night and day. I, 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 I like... as you say, I do quite enjoy the breadsticks. <laughs> <laughs> they did what they could. They did what they could. They don't know all the tricks that are now available. I mean, they, they still could have done, they could have done this, like flickered it. Yeah. And, and it still probably would have been more accepted than the breadsticks. <laughs> oh, one more piece. Can I, oh, going out, no, going out for the more. ice cream. Oh. Yeah, you have to drop it too. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh no, missed the one on the left. Yeah, right. yeah, one more. Yay! Yay! Lots of frames of animation. Guys. Yeah. Lots of um, colors um, of the chef. Luckily, most things in life. Oh, oh, oh. oh through the pepper. Yeah, too late. a little too late. Most things in life are staggered color like if you look at yours there's the face and then your shirt is a different color yeah. pants are a different color so vertical is very easy to do color on the 2600 horizontal color is much harder and that's why um you can do the lettuce with it with different colors and the buns with the different shades of the brown oh, and a little coffee in the center Ice Post says, I can't do this with BBDB DPC Plus because it uses midline color changes. Oh, is there nothing in D in uh, the BB, uh, the, the Batari Basic that does midline color changes? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you just got out of that. You should have climbed up and dropped it on them. Oh. Uh, you would have got all of them. Oh, true. Uh -huh. Yeah, because as you can see, there's the bun. And then there's, oh, I think it did run out. I think there's one. Oh, zero. There's one oh. and zero, so you have no pepper anymore. Used it all up. I think it started with six. Yeah, and the problem is, is if you... And the colors of the ladders are really nice, too. Oh, oh, oh. So you can kind of pass through a little bit, as long as they're not right on top of you. I think you're pretty safe. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, I had, I didn't, I didn't. Oh, hit within the a couple of pixels. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have the ladder. Oh, you have to step onto the burger piece before you step off to have them ride down. Oh, so let me show yeah. you. No, I know what he means by that. Yeah? I know the ride oh, okay. down. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm trying to kill them. I'm yeah. not trying to ride them down, but I get, <laughs> I get what you're saying. Onto the burger piece before you step off. You have. Yes, yes, you, yes. Yeah. If you wait till they get on, then they'll, they'll go down with it. Yeah, yeah. So if you yeah, can you read it. from there. Sure. You want to put? Yeah. Chaotic Grill is an attempt to bring a new version of the arcade classic Burger Time to the Atari 2600. With a grill in the midst of chaos, you control Pete the Chef to build burgers for eagerly awaiting customers. Sounds like an easy job, right? Well, it would be if it weren't for some other pesky ingredients trying to interfere with your burger assembly line. <laughs> it's chaos on the grill, but you can manage it, right? Hey, Wink Dot, welcome! <laughs> uh, to play, navigate your chef around the kitchen and knock down pieces oh, yeah. to build your burgers while avoiding the hot dogs, pickles, and eggs. You can uh, use the fire button to spray pepper over on the enemies. Knock down all the pieces to complete a level and move on to the next one. Four-way joysticks would be better for this. That's, that would be very cool to have. Four-way? Uh, then you don't have this kind of issue. <laughs> Um, it's a lot easier to do. It's a bit um, more precise. Gotta, 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 gotta. Yeah, so you don't accidentally press up and to the left, yeah. which sometimes some games don't like. Um, actually, this game actually works with up and to the left, Smush. which maybe you don't want. It'll accidentally take a ladder. Mm. Like if I'm pressing down to the right, it'll go down. Mm. Then I can move to just down, and then it won't step off. Mm. So you can use an eight-way joystick to your advantage in this game to kind of redirect oh god uh, oh. wink dot says love this game love burger time yeah 
It's it's it got a lot of dynamics to it. It does, and and it's quite um. Quite cute too. <laughs> it's cute. It's hairy too because those guys move so fast. It seems yes. like they. I I remember. You're playing, a little bit faster than that. I remember playing the arcade game and being very frustrated because <laughs> I never seem to do very well, um, because they do move quite quickly. I think this is a touch slower than the arcade, but the arcade's very fast. Mm. 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 Ever. <laughs> Screen. No! Oh, that guy's frozen. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, well, you I'll might, take advantage you might squish of that. You. Oh, no, squish. Got him. Oh, there's a big pack of them. Oh, oh, Almost. I didn't get quite all of them. Let's see if I can get to the top before. Oh. You didn't quite get them. That's okay. You have to let them get pretty yeah, close to you. Yeah, I forgot you could do that. So it's a bit of a dangerous. See, I couldn't do it there. Yeah. I have to remember the, the corners. But yeah. Oh, but no, they, they jump back up. They respawned. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, yeah. That'd be they too easy. They don't stay if... down forever. That would be so cool, though, if you could just move them all to the bottom no, and then just do the whole screen. <laughs> too easy. Um, I like cheats. <laughs> go, 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 go. Do it, do it, them. do it. Oh, yeah. Yay! It allows that. Yay. Yay. This is really good. This is... He, he has kind of declared this, like, gameplay is finished. Yes. Now the rest is like, oh god. Uh, yeah. The rest is kind of graphics. Uh, uh. And and prettying it up. And I agree, it's... So this is the second level. You didn't, did You didn't uh, make it to the second level, right? Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, oh, yeah. I was reading or something. Yeah. I did pretty well in the first level. I don't think I died once, actually. Oh! Which is, again, surprising me. for me because I don't play a lot of Burger Time and I always found it a very frustrating game. So. Uh, oh, no. I think I was out. out. I was out. And yeah. that was my last life. Cool. Really good. Yeah. Did you read it all out? Uh, I didn't go into the joystick controls, but I, I read well, out the rest of it. We can go to level three. Do you want to play? Oh. Level well, three. Well, I'm dead. That's okay. Press it. What am I pressing? Oh, let me do it manually. Two, three. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh goodness. boy. Oh, this is not good. I think you used up two peppers there. Uh, no. What did you get to? Sorry. Oh. Controls. Anyway, the latest additions to this is items should appear in the appropriate places for each level. Also fix some graphical issues with them. Coffee cup missing top line. Extra life bonus every 10,000. I don't know how much we got to. This is a lot harder level, eh? Pepper. Ah! No oh, pepper? I should have peppered. Oh, you had three left. After completing level six, the level should loop back around without ending up at the title screen. So it does sound like he's doing the last little bits. If you look, oh, it's gone now. <laughs> I was going to comment on a color timing issue. Oh, some fries. Is that a pea? <laughs> fries? Pea fries? Oh, no, what? Oh, oh, I wasn't close enough. No. Shoot. Mr. Fix, I've got to get this myself. Love burger time. Yeah. yeah it's really good. It's a really good really I mean, good the flickering's version. fine. Like, no, you it doesn't bother me. You can me live with it. No, it doesn't bother me at all. Let's go to level four. One, two, three, four. Whoa, 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 wow. Staggered ladders. That's going to be challenging. Oh, you got them on with it. Oof, losing up the pepper. Mm. Oh, no. When will we be able to order it? Um, I mean, it's getting close. Um, I can definitely see this being picked up by Al, and I believe he's already commented in the um, thread, so I would expect this to be on Atari Age's store, for sure, if if both people want to do that. Um, and, but he still has to do the flicker management on this, so it's not, uh, not all flickery, but there's been a lot of games with that, so I'm sure he can coordinate with some people for those routines um, to add the flicker management in. Oh, missing it. They do tend to bunch up. Do they do that in the arcade as well? Like, all the guys are like on top of each other, which is good to trap them. Wait, wait for it. Oh, oh. last little square. There you go. 
How come this gets a tune right, but the 7800 homebrew throws in a bust note? <laughs> well, the 7800 uses the same... Um, oh, no. it's too many. It's way too many. And you're out. The same audio chip as the 2600. Um, but there's been a lot of advances in audio since then. Um, okay. Good. Try four? Or uh, five. Good? We'll take a look at all, all the levels. That you can, yeah. Two, three, four, nice. five. Ah! Immediately death! Oh my god! Oh, they're so far away. Oh my god. This is... Challenging. Challenging. Oh, that egg is stuck. <laughs> he couldn't get down. He's like, he oh my to get god, to you. look at how Challenging. weird this layout is. This is crazy. Oh no, now I. What the hell? At least no. they're kind of trapped. Yeah, it's true. They're trying to get you. <laughs> Blue Swimmer says, uh, imagine actually eating one of these burgers. Oh, 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 oh come back here, come back here. Oh, you can kind of direct them. Oh, there we go. Squish. We actually had burgers <laughs> for dinner. Yes, we did, actually. <laughs> Coincidentally. Coincidentally. Come down. Ah. Are you out? Oh, oh we gotcha. Smushed by Various pickle. Various management? No, uh, well, it exists in a lot of games. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> there is flicker management code. It is not implemented in this. Um, but that is on his to-do list of, of things he needs... Can you shoot it? Oh, you can shoot it down. I thought it was going to die. I didn't know you could shoot it in a down direction. Mm. Coffee? No! This is amazing. This is like an insta-buy. Yeah. <laughs> for for yeah. anyone once this is done. Yeah, it's really good. Really, that little sausage guy is kind of stuck. I feel like he's going he's gonna to start stuck going after Stuck in the corner. Well, that, the pickles. Oh, that guy, pickle's stuck too. Uh, maybe there's some, some leftover things to... Work on. To work on. Ooh, can I make it past this guy? Yeah. Yep, just barely. Oh, and the egg is defending. Yeah, and oh, you have no I think cover. I'm gonna go up. Oh, got them both. Nice. Yeah, good job. You almost, you almost got them all. Oh, retro happy hour. Gotta go. Thanks for the great stream. You are yep. very welcome. <laughs> uh, you can check it later on YouTube. Uh, I post it a day later. Oh, this is a dead end. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come down. There we go. Yeah, you guys stay there. Yeah, check it on YouTube. Um, I post it 24 hours later, as per the rules of Twitch. <laughs> ooh, 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 should I do it? Oh, I think he started moving. That was. Is he frozen then for very, a, a period? A little time? bit. If you if you catch them in between, yeah, you can kill them. Well, you might but have if to get him. Wait, 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 get him. <laughs> there. But if you, oh, I finished it. Woo, good job. What was I talking about? I don't know. Um, <laughs> some probably paperwork tips. So this is level six, and these are, this is the last level that he has made. And then it just wraps around. Mm. Back here, sausage. Yes. So you can kind of direct them. Ooh, these are dangerous little areas. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Out on a limb. Get it, get isolated out there. Yep. Ooh, it's getting a bit crowded. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah. Oh, got both of them. Yep. That pickle's stuck for some reason. Uh, oh, he's now unstuck. <laughs> oh, oh but if they come close, you can get them. Yeah. But now you're still open. I'm going to have to use my pepper. Is too far away? I don't know. Is it? No. Nope. They kind of just make a beeline for you. <laughs> and if they're in a corner, they kind of just get stuck in a corner. Uh. How did he go down? There was no ladder there! Bug. Cheater! Cheating Cheater. bug. Cheater! <laughs> I, I crave a Big Mac too. <laughs> Um, Cheater! He jumped down! Yep, so there's an issue there on that. Cheater. Oh, and it's not that resetting was... to the title screen. No. On oh, game you died. Six. Yeah. Some weird bugs in the enemy movement code. Yeah. <laughs> but that's why we do these playthroughs. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to play one of the levels? 
sure. and you have to beat level six. It's really hard. Mm, well, we'll see about that. It was fun. Oh, yeah. There you go. Y'all gotta come down to Phoenix and get a big whack. Who makes big whacks? Oh, you should have trapped him on there. Whack Donald? <laughs> <laughs> we do want to go to... Um, somewhere in Texas? Oh, no! Oh, oh you got him. We do want to go to Texas at some point. That's Phoenix? Close. We've been to Phoenix Ish. before. We have, yes. That's great. Yes. Um, oh, oh, just missed him. so close. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Graham, ah. run. <laughs> run away. Oh, he's flipping out. Yeah, he's oh, unhappy. He oh, oh, he went up the ladder again. Cheater. Cheater. <laughs> <laughs> the sausage cheats. <laughs> Cheating sausage. Cheating sausage. Like, is there supposed to be a ladder ah! there? Oh, I couldn't move to the left. Can, can to the, the right. chef go down that as well? Try and go down that that ladder. Yeah, the first try. one. First one went down. Go up, up, up. Oh. Oh, I know. Oh, oh no. Pepper. <laughs> oh, do I have pepper um, left? Uh, one. Oh. But no one. Let's try that again. This, is, this oh. isn't the same one. One more. There you go. Okay. So okay. trying to do that ladder. No, oh, what no, am I doing? Can't do I that. can't, do, can't that. do that. Ah! Pepper, run! You're slightly faster than the guys. Only so ever so slightly. No, try and go down that area. Up. Nope. No, no. down. Because they went down. Oh, no, not doing they went it this up. Time. No. He went down and killed you. Or killed me. No, he point. went He went down the... Oh, I see. He went down the ladder. I'm dead. One more. Oh. Uh, no, I didn't. Boo. <laughs> Boo. I don't think the pepper resets either. You're totally out. You threw it all over the place. Can't remember where the other one Oh was. my gosh, this one's so challenging. <laughs> There's so many places to get injured. There is. It's, it just cuts you off completely. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Oh, you're out of pepper. You're done for. Oh, you just went. smushed. Nothing. Yeah, all of it at once. <laughs> it's like, like yeah, feeding my cats... Um, Treats. This is just useless. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to go. It's like feeding the cats a uh, catnip. You're just like throwing it on the floor. Throwing it on. Catnip. Catnip. <laughs> Center bonus items give Pepper. Good to know. That is oh. very good to know. Oh my god. You have to go immediately. <laughs> There's no waiting time in this level. Sweet catnip. Fat cats. Calling out the cats. Oh no. Get one here. Pepper the other one. Oh, go up. Go up. Get this guy. Ooh, got two. So if I go down, no, they're cheaters. Look, I can't go down, but that guy did. Ooh, extra pepper. Thank you for that hint. Ooh, got two of them. Very nice. Up here, Mr. Egg, got him, got him. Got him. Oh, I don't want to go there. I do want to get extra pepper though. Capture this guy. Oh, oh, got him. Oh, you got a cat by against his will. Against his will. Against as well. It's okay. It's okay. This is Atari. Atari says hello. He says, I want out of here. Yeah, he says, why? Why did you bring me in here? Why? Yeah. He did it again? Did someone uh, jump across a... Is there a dirty cheater? <laughs> they cheat. You cannot just trust a sausage. <laughs> nope. Ooh, Don't trust those job. sausages. Yeah, you really got to kill them in this. No, no that's terrible. At least there's a set. The At top. least there's two paths. Yeah, you got to get up. Well, sort of. And get more pepper at least. Yes, die. Nice. Whoa, all of them. Good job. I might be able to finish this. Oh, it's pretty so challenging. A lot more to go. 
the ones out on the limb. You've got pepper, though. Pepper! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Stole my Yay! pepper up, but I did it! Woo! Level six! Atari and says level one again. There we go. Oh! Good job. Are they moving faster? Uh, I think they're moving the same. <laughs> they, they don't seem to get faster, they just seem to, uh... Nice smush. So if you start figuring out the tactics, you can, you can get there. I, I am super hungry for burgers now. We I just don't had know a burger. I know, but I want more. <laughs> Mr. Fix says hi, Atari. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Amazing. Hi, sweetheart. Yes, I know. Great game. Yes. Let's move on to the next one. Yes, 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 yes. What do we have next? So that is... Um, that is amazing. Yes. Splendid nut. Yes. Excellent good job. job. It's a lot of fun. Yep. I can't wait for more more um, mm -hmm. the flicker management. It'll look beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Even with the flickering, it looks really good. Totally. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Totally it looks great. Really good. Other than some I, cheating sausages. Especially cheating sausages. <laughs> um, uh, the uh, yeah, especially when you compare it to the uh, original oh, Atari twenty six hundred version. That was brutal. <laughs> oh um, my goodness. Oh, so he doesn't have. Uh, yeah. code yet to make the enemies move faster yeah so. that's okay it's that's okay you got time for something, that. something to work on right yeah so the next one is shark jaws plus yeah. uh, by wink dot uh who is here hello uh wink dot made alien pinball cows doom patrol orb and the deep mm -hmm. so lots of games uh w the first release was on december 21st 2018 mm -hmm. this build is january 1st uh 2019 mm -hmm. So this is actually based on an arcade game as well. Um, so it is a port of an arcade game, a very, very unknown arcade game and very basic looking. So let's take a look at that first. Uh, one second, let me get that going. There we go. So there it is, a uh, very old arcade game, Wink Dot says. I didn't get a date on this, but uh, so you're the diver, mm -hmm. that little diver dude there, and your objective is to get the fish and avoid the shark. <laughs> That's Pretty it. Pretty straightforward. There is like no, mush, mush, mush. no background. Yeah. Uh, there's no sound in this. I'm assuming there was some sound mm -hmm. in the arcade game, but I couldn't find, I couldn't find a, a video. 1977. Oh, wow. wow. So the Atari 2600 came out. Wow, yep. Um, very old game. That's, that is a, that's a fairly old game. Um, yeah, so I can understand why it's so simplistic. Because uh, all you had back then was this kind of stuff, yeah. really. But my nephew, who's about nine, would I love this game because he loves anything with sharks in it. So right. he, would, he would be like, oh, <laughs> sharks! Sharks! Yay. Yay! Okay, so you get the idea. There's not much going on there. Yeah. <laughs> So let's take a look at what um, Wink Dot thought he could make out of this. <laughs> this <laughs> there's not much there to work on, work no, with, is there? It's pretty straightforward. Can you? Uh, are you? Oh no, busy? no, I can, I can, okay. I can work around the cat. So I've this is Shark before. Jaws Plus. Yeah. Um, so let's see what the plus, what pluses he puts into it. Okay. Atari, are you gonna play? You're gonna hit some buttons. Hi, buddy. There we go. Ooh. Got a title screen there. Oh, a little plus, and it disappears. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Hi. Right. Um, it says, Merry Christmas. This game is loosely based on a very old arcade game called Shark Jaws. Okay, it was called Shark Jaws. Yeah. Uh, released by Atari under the name of Horror Games. Oh. So really? they didn't even name it with their name? Or is a sub section of Atari. Originally released in 1975, it says here. Wow. Mm. Uh, I added uh, stuff to it, thus the plus. You are a diver that is trying to catch fish and avoid everything else. There is one life. You can go for it. One so life. a lot more color than uh, than the arcade version. Uh, you're, you're, the diver has a bit more color and the little fish has a bit more color. See, this, this game has some flicker management in it. It's because there's three characters there. And it only flashes when all three are on the same line. Or actually, it flashes at the bottom a little bit, too. I don't know why it does it there. 
Um, you're a diver that's trying to catch fish and avoid everything else. There's one life. If you die, you start over. After you catch 10 fish, a new level appears. There you go. You already made it to level two. Avoid the shark. Avoid the walls. They tear oh, I hit the wall. <laughs> Just told you. <laughs> they tear up your wetsuit. Uh, keep an eye on your oxygen. If it runs out, you die. I guess that's in the bottom right. Uh, to replenish your oxygen, go to the top, but avoid all the walls. There will be a warning when you get low on oxygen. Oh, I think this one's a little bit volume low. Oh, he got me. Pew, pew, pew. Very classic sound. <laughs> uh, avoid the coral tree. Avoid the mad puffer fish. Oh, there's different fish. Guess I'm nice. on a higher level. Uh, at a later stage, a killer sub will show up as well. Avoid it. If you find bugs, please post here. It did this pretty quick, so there should be some. I realize the shark is not pixel perfect on collisions. Your advantage. If you die, <laughs> the fish will be easier to catch for a while. It's random. Uh, Happy New Year. So, version. this is version 4. Some code cleanup, minor graphic changes. I added sound to the diver movement. The not fish has stopped moving. Oh, oh now he's moving. Easier for you to get. Yeah, no kidding. Now, oh, because it gets easier when you die. Uh -huh. Oh. I get it. So I have noticed, at least on level one, it's like a DV D logo. I, I was going to say the same thing. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> they move in an exact uh, path. They don't turn around at any time. Maybe well, on upper levels they do. Wasn't there a PewDiePie episode where oh, the logo was going back and forth? He's constantly doing oh, that okay. now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on almost every show. Uh, it just... That's his new thing right now. But yes, originally made really famous by The Office, where it's in behind Michael. Oh, that's well, right. Well, he's giving a speech, and they're all reacting. And they're all just like, it's almost hit the corner. And yeah, yeah, and yeah. He thinks I they're like that. really enthused about the speech. That's right. I remember that. Yeah, you know. yeah. Looks like an Activision game, Zybot says. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that didn't take very long. The shark is faster than you, so you do have to anticipate it. Yeah. My turn? Oh, nope. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's start over. I'll get that fish. Easy. Easy. Sometimes he's easy, and sometimes he's really challenging. Yes. I can't express why, but sometimes uh, that is the case. Staying in the center, I find, is a very good tactic. I did play this a little bit when uh, I was making no, sure it no, works. No, no, it all comes out, yeah. <laughs> he's been practicing ahead of time. Well, I do have to oh, test it to make sure it'll work. He's got a cat up. in his arm there. <laughs> oh, isn't it cute? Yeah. Tari's the cutest cat ever. Yeah. I do think <laughs> the shark looks more like a dolphin, though. Um, he's got a bit a of a dolphin. snub nose, or uh, something. Or I don't know what's going on, but I, it just seems like a dolphin-looking dude. Um, maybe it's the colors. Could be. I don't know what. He's a little suggest. pointy. He's pointy looking. Pointy, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, that's be okay. Bigger, mm. a little bit fatter. I don't know. Mm. Oh my God, that's what you did too. Yeah. Immediately. No, I want to try level There's, two. Are there lives? There are uh, no lives, are there? Yep. Yeah. I think it's two lives. Is there? I think I died once. Mm -hmm. Like, the fish moving in one direction is definitely an advantage. Because then you can just intercept it. I do like it when the fish heads straight for you. That does make it a lot easier. <laughs> right into your spear. Yeah. Come to me. There. Now don't swim to the right. There's a lot more obstacles on mm. level two. Level two does have a lot of spiky obstacles. Yeah, so you have to kind of, you forced to stay in the center. This, oh yeah, come on, keep coming. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Like I said, sometimes he just goes right for you. It does make it life a little ah. bit easier. Come on back. There we go. Yep. A couple more. One more. We're running out of air. Can mm -hmm. I just get that last fish? Come on. Ah. You gotta get your air. Come on. Ah, I gotta get. You only have to, you don't even have to wait. Which is no, good. it's just like, <gasps> big yeah. quick breath. Yeah. <laughs> oh, where am I? Oh my God. Oh my God. Now it's not, oh my God. Now it's not easy. There's too much stuff. Oh, and there's a, there's a puffer oh, fish. Oh, there's a puffer fish. It's more like a stingray on its side. Yeah. Or a flounder. A f uh, yeah, on its side, yeah. Yeah. But he does go. Or sunfish. Sunfish have, yeah, it does yeah. flap. Oh, now it's getting in my way. Okay, oh. level three. Where am I? Oh, he goes after you. 
a little bit more straight for you. No, the um, the puffer fish. puffer fish is slow. No, but he was he's... slowly going for you at the bottom, but he started at the bottom. Ah, uh, he's a zombie fish. A zombie. Just slowly lumbers towards you. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm, brains. <laughs> Come on. Ah! Whoa, that was close. <laughs> Oh, I need air. Oh, you need air. Get the air. Get it. Oh. Go. I feel like you should be able to spear that puffer fish. No, a button doesn't do anything. That could be an option. <laughs> Add in a, a spear or yeah. some sort of weapon that you could attack yeah. the shark with if it gets close. No, I don't think you should be able no. to attack the shark, but this, the, the puffer fish. Because okay. the shark is the ongoing kind of obstacle. Yes, the ultimate yeah. threat. Ah. And I like the coral, too. Ah. I feel like there might need to be more coral. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like you could maybe, trip, maybe you could in later levels. And double it. Maybe in later levels. Oh, oh you're running out of air. Oh, oh you died. It. You only get one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Unforgiving, but you can go a long ways. Mm. One more for you. Yeah, it's not. Gonna uh, it looks like the dolphin from Dolphin. Yeah, it does. Dolphins can be pretty brutal too. Gretam says. <laughs> yeah, they can. Sprites double wide or quad wide only have collision detection as if they are single wide. I remember that fact. Really? Mm, that sounds false. Uh, here you can turn on PF equal PF zero equals two fifty five uh, to cover the ends uh, with the green play field. The ends. Oh, well, the ends look good. Everything looks good on the screen. Was it the second? Oh, I see. I see. On this level. Yeah, you could just extend them out, but maybe he wants you to swim in behind those? Because theoretically you could swim in behind them. But I don't know if it would make more sense to keep extending them. Yeah, that would be PF0 in that um, little area there. Oh, he's got a mirrored playfield. Oh, I didn't notice that, yeah. That does make it easier. I'm going to run out of air somewhat soon. There you go. I guess that's coral, but like, is this kind of the sea bed? It looks like no, the bottom is. So what are those? Is it floating? Yeah, you did it. It's not. It, I guess it's not good to question logic in video games <laughs> like this. Kind of sometimes, mm -hmm. not all of them make logical sense. Nope. Like coral reefs. <gasps> oh, oh, you ran right into it. I didn't it. mean. I was paying attention to everything else on the screen. Return? No, I'm good. I am too. It's simple, but it's it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a nice little game. Um, added sound to the diver movement. That's good. Mm -hmm. Did it have like a warning when you ran out of air? I don't think it went. Dee -doo -dee. I don't think we got to the point where. No, it didn't really. It just oh, it flashed red. It just flashed red. There we go. Oh, <laughs> trying to run out of air. <laughs> To actively avoid the shark if I want to run out of air. Mm -hmm. I go down. No, nothing safe from that. No, the shark can't. Oh, you can go swim underneath way. it. Oh. That's kind of cool. Or in front of it, I suppose. Oh, you can't swim that far. So yes, yes. turning on, turning that on would be a good idea. Yeah. Then turning on the green so it extends all the way. Mm -hmm. That's a quick fix. Very, very, very easy. That's the command in Visual ba in um, Batari Basic PF zero equals two fifty five. No, oh, it is. Oh, it is really yeah, quiet. Yeah, there is a there is so an is, alarm. It is quiet. A quiet yeah, alarm. It doesn't give you much time though. No. Basically, the so float gotta, to the top. So of you screen. do have to watch. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does, it does have a warning. It's very qu yeah. Very it's quiet. not super loud, but it is there. It kind of just gives yeah. a little bit of. Oh, a, he says should have. Yeah. 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 So great, great job. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, you added a lot. <laughs> yeah. From oh, the yeah. Original. And the background is really nice. I mean, it has that aquarium kind of feel to it. Yeah. And the corals nice. The too. fish are yeah. nice. Yeah. No, very good. So now we're going to play Snowflakes uh, 2018. That's the title. Snowflakes, Snowflakes. 2018, <laughs> which was released in 2019. Okay. Which is kind of funny. Yeah. But we'll get to that. Okay, you got it? So this is uh, made by LolQ64. Uh, this uh, this version, January 1st, 2019, first new homebrew <coughs> <coughs> of the year. Mm -hmm. This was the first homebrew released in the year. It was like three minutes after me. 
<clears throat> three minutes after yeah. midnight. What am I doing? And you died. What am I doing? <laughs> Catching snowflakes. That's it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you died. Oh. Um, and <laughs> we played uh, 2017's version during the holiday homebrew uh, uh, games that we played uh, a couple about a month ago. Or a couple weeks ago. And this was, the 2017 version was actually the game that helped me realize that my palette was wrong on my 2600. Oh, really? And, and it totally helped me fix the palette so it looks proper and you can see the snowflakes. Because in the 2017, I couldn't see the snowflakes. The snowflakes oh. in the background were the same color essentially. Oh, I see. And I was like, what is going on? Why can't I see this? And then I remember there's a ba a button on the back of um, the Atari that you're able to change the colors on it. And that's part of the, the RGB board that you put in. Um, so thank you to... Oh, that's a nice change in color. And it's also wiggling. Oh, yes, it does get oh, harder. Oh, they're a little bit more... Uh... A little wiggly. And I believe there are options to make your catching things smaller. What? There was in the original. Like so like a, hard, a hardness setting? Or? Yeah, you get half the size. Oh, no, 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 no. That would take... So he says... Be, that uh, would be rough. Sorry, unlike last year, I was unable to finish the game on Christmas Eve. Oh, no. However, I decided to use Snowflakes to celebrate New Year's instead. For fans of the original Snowflakes 2017, you'll be happy to know this version of the game is vastly superior in every way. <laughs> the background isn't empty, and it includes an igloo. The paddle uh, from before is now replaced with a sled. The paddle controller is now supported and recommended. Oh, so you can use paddle mm. and joysticks. Nice to have the option. Up to two Snowflakes at a time, which we don't have yet. <laughs> Five phases, which each one becoming more difficult. So this is phase two. Three. Oh, three. Oh, now they're really wiggly. Wiggly. I like the wiggly effect, though. <laughs> That's what snowflakes do when they fall. They go, ooh. They don't fall in a straight line. Well, sometimes they do, but, you know, they go, the wind or... Oh! oh 92. That's not bad. From day to night, the sky becomes more darker and more phases you... Uh, the sky becomes darker and uh, the more phases you conquer. High score is saved. So my high score oh. of 92 is saved. Excellent. Score to beat. How, 92. Yeah. Here's how to play. Fire button to start. Reset to go back to menu. Color switch to change controls. Controls. Oh, from Color paddle. joystick or That's paddle. That's a good idea. Left difficulty switch to change the size of your sled. Right difficulty switch to change how many flakes appear at a time. Oh, we'll have to try with two after this. Then. Yeah, we'll, we'll flip both of them to the small sled and the... Yes, and the two. More flakes. That oh, would God. be challenging. Both at once? Uh, uh, yeah. Pro tip. Phases change depending on time, not how many snowflakes you catch. But they're timed anyway. Yeah. Well, so they, they come the down same? consistently. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so first phase is 30 seconds. Then the uh, next one increases by another 30 seconds. So phase two is 60 the third is 90, etc. Right. So each phase gets a longer. Okay, okay. So I'm on phase two. Mm -hmm. Then they get really wiggly after this. <laughs> I like that you call them wiggly. Wiggly! They're wiggly. <laughs> They're wiggly. <laughs> wiggly worms. Very, very simple game, mm -hmm. but not... No, it's fun, though. It's, it's, it's Sometimes the simplest looking games are, are the, most, the most fun yeah. and challenging, too, depending on how they're made. Like, you can make the best game, which is blocks. Look at Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> how successful that was. And that was like, oh, go. now it's wiggly. Oh, wiggles. 90 what? 92. You're almost there. <laughs> not too wiggly yet. They're almost... Once they get wiggly or more, more wiggly than the size of your catching sled, yes, the smaller then sleds might be harder. You're yep. in trouble you right now. Me. You, right now, you kind of just put it in the center of your sled, and you're fairly safe. Any comments? Hmm? Comments? No. Uh, just wink dot saying the current one. I assume the current game he's working on is driving him nuts. So. Oh. Look, at, I, I like it. I like the wiggly uh, snowflakes. And the, and the igloo's nice. Could, um, some improvements you could make is for the colors of the snow at the bottom to be 
like go from blue to white, like just off, off white, yeah. more towards blue, or you could do that with the igloo as well. Oh, what you could do with the igloo actually is, uh, well, it may not look good if you do this, but put a little line of separation between each of the the bricks. Is that easy enough to do? That is easy enough to do, yeah. but it may look strange because it won't have vertical lines mm -hmm. too. You'll just have horizontal lines. Ooh. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> that was and done. Way too fast coming down. They just went boom. Yeah. Dead. Yeah. 158. Do you want to try one of the um, difficulty yep. settings? Just one of them. So press button. So this is. Double. Double. Oh, it crashes on double. Yeah, need a paddle for that speed. Yeah, agreed. Yes. Okay. That's okay. We can, we can press it. Let's try that again on the double. Okay. Press it. There you go. Uh, nope. Not a chance. Need a paddle. I think you need a paddle. Okay. We will get a paddle in a second. Let's just take a look at the other variation. Uh, do you have the other, the double on still? Yep. <laughs> no. Okay. Let's get a paddle. Yeah. It's still going to be difficult. I always find the paddles very sensitive. So. Where are my paddles? Where are my paddles? Are they on the floor? No, they're not. Where are my paddles? Kit, what did you do with my paddles? Why are there no paddles on the hanging on the door? Oh, oh, there they are. Yay. So let's do this with some paddles. Hold those, please. Whoa. Attack of the microphone. Yeah, why did that happen? No, I did touch it. Oh, okay. Can I go? For a second. I'm wondering what happened there. Because I'm a bad boom operator. Ah, there we go. Terrible. Those so they don't fall on the floor. Oh, I fell. <laughs> well, I had one. Okay. Let's try it with the paddles. We don't know which one is going to do it. It's mine. Here you go. Okay. Ah! Well, let's switch back to one. <laughs> well, no. no. No? Two? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. one is, we did it with the joystick. I just need to get used to the paddle. Might take they it. can be very sensitive. Yeah, yeah I, I, I find paddles very sensitive. So. A little twitching, but not too bad. And it's done by time. Right. So it doesn't matter how many you catch. Oh, that's right. That's why so, they mentioned that. Because when they're falling two at a time, it's totally different number. So you still have to survive for 30 seconds. Whoa. It's like Kaboom, except with snowflakes. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no patterns. Well, there's no sound oh. either, is there? Oh, I yeah, heard that's any true. Sound. I haven't heard a sound. But mind you, snowflakes don't make sound when they fall, really. Yeah. They're pretty quiet. I don't know what sound you can make. You could make high-pitched ding. No, no, it's ding. Ding. no there should ding. be there should be no sounds. Ding. Snowflakes ding. should not have sound. Well, wind oh. chimes or something. Move too fast. Let me give it a try. I'm opening my next beer. <laughs> next beer. <laughs> next beer. Not even a Friday. Mm. Still a school night. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Two is. N oh, yep, yeah, just keep coming down there. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep, yeah, keep coming down there. Oh, they're getting really close together. Now they're. That's not. Oh my god, they're getting. That's an issue. I don't know if he's calculated that some of them can be like really close together. What do you mean? Like that and that. Like at points they get like so close. Like they drop almost at the same time. You can oh, almost okay. not make it. Well, you can with the paddle, but you can't overshoot. I mean, that's what I find with the paddle. You yes. overshoot really easily. But uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, just yeah. missed that one. Yeah. The igloo actually <laughs> had some uh, difficulty. Because it hides the snowflake. It does hide the snowflake. 
How about yeah. that? See, those were really close together. But not impossible, I guess. When you say close look, together, you mean they're look. timing. Yeah, because they come down two at a time. Yeah, but they could be But you like, definitely like cast. That. Look, yeah. they're getting closer. Yeah. Look, how can you do that? <laughs> oh, look. Well, at least I... Pa oh. oh. See, if they put one there and one there, dead. You're dead. Mm. Okay. My turn, you Yep. I don't one want the two anymore. You. <laughs> you don't want the two anymore? Yeah, you can make the small sled if you want. Okay. Yeah. Oh, both, sorry. Both of them on is too hard. It is. Gretem says you just have to get better. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That is true. Did we get all the instructions? Yes, we did. He said, hope you enjoy, and of course, have a great new year. Thank you. Happy new year to you, too. Uh, Zybot67 says, reminds me of Beat 'em and Eat 'em, only kid friendly. Do not know that game. It's one of the very few porn titles on the Atari 2600. Porn titles. Yeah, blocky, blocky, blocky oh, funny. porn. Um, uh, RC7E says, the first time I decided to show my kid Stella, that was the first game he picked from the list of ROMs. Oh no. Oh, no. Not a great choice. No, no. not a great choice. <laughs> Could have been any game with that name, but uh, nope. It has no sound. I don't know what sound it could be. I was just thinking like little wind chimes, high-pitched wind chimes. Once in a while, not often. Oh. Oh. Give it a try. Oh, I think I'm good yeah? with this one. All right. We're going to move on to the last game of the night, which I've been looking forward to. This one is amazing. Tumble Temple by Blue Swimmer. Mm -hmm. So, oh, let's switch it back. RC70 says, luckily kids can't tell what it's supposed to be. No. <laughs> That's good it's for the best. just a bunch of blocks. Yeah, for the best. So if you can grab the joystick and press the button... James, change the graphic. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> He's anticipating that I'm not... Oh, well, it's too late. Oh, I missed that one completely. Nope, something happened. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. There we go. I'll show you my Snowflakes graphic, because I make the graphics. Oh, do go. you? Oh. I make all these graphics. Nice. Because hardly any work-in-progress games yeah, that's have... True. A cover so yeah. I have to piece together graphic graphics from the game and titles if they have it mm. so there's the snowflakes one mm. um, so yep tumble temple let me get that one up so at least it got on the screen see I made one for tumble temple too. good job well oh, you can't see the bottom oh well <laughs> go for it so tumble temple is made by blue swimmer uh, the first release was January 1st, 2019. Uh, this build is January 3rd, 2019. Um, it does have some similarities to Tower of Rubble that we did I was going to say, it does appear remember. to have a, some but similarities. But only in looks. It plays completely differently. It, um, other than blocks falling and jumping, that's about it. And things sinking, I guess. Um, actually, the other one, does it sink? Is the other one, Tower of Rubble sink? I think it, yeah, it slowly sinks. Um, Dianoid, who made Tower of Rubble, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, says, cool game. I think it plays a bit like Tower of Rubble, <laughs> which has some base, same basic ingredients. A stick man running around on a deteriorating pile of rubble, trying not to get crushed by falling blocks. Uh, in case you didn't know, I'm working on the 2600 port for Tower of Rubble. This is all posted in the Atari Age forums. Mm. See my post here. No worries. I think the games are different enough, and both will be fun to play. Uh, for some reason, you and I seem sometimes like to work on similar games <laughs> at the same time, not aware of each other's efforts. Remember Doodle Jump? <laughs> they mo both made Doodle Jump, too. Oh, that's, yeah. That's so funny. I guess what that's what they call an idea that's floating in the air. Yeah. And it's good to hear you that you're doing 100% assembly. <sighs> then Blue Swimmer posted, um, It's funny, really. I was working on this game before you posted Tower of Rubble. 
Funny how the world works sometimes. Anyway, I did check out Tower of Rubble. While there's not enough right now for me to give a proper opinion, uh, what you have looks great so far. And then, um, and then Dianoid posted a link to the mm. um, C64 or the PC version of Tower of mm. Rubble. Yeah. Uh, Blue Sawyer, he says, that's me. Dianoid and I seem to have similar ideas a lot. Well, great minds think alike. Let's go with that. Uh-oh. Oh, you can jump pretty high in this, actually. Oh, now you've got got some open pits now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Many open pits. Mm -hmm. uh, January 1st, 2019. Uh, hi, everyone. Today I'd like to present a new original 2600 homebrew called Tumble Temple. In this game, you play as a hapless explorer who seems to have found himself on a pile of blocks sinking into quicksand below. To make matters worse, more blocks are falling from the ceiling. It will potentially crush the explorer if you're not careful. Controls are fairly simple. Left and right to move, fire to jump. However, the blocks are extremely fragile and will instantly shatter as soon as you jump off of one. Mm -hmm. You get more points for breaking several bro blocks in quick succession. Ah. Though, uh, if you manage to jump on a block while it's falling, you get really big bonus. So you could have jumped on that oh, one. Oh, I see. Uh, currently, the game has four difficulties. Hope you all enjoy. I'm a little nervous about sharing this since it's my first homebrew that isn't... Whoa. Are what? you not supposed to let it get to the, to get, get to the top, I guess? Oh. Interesting. Um, since this isn't a port of another game, but at the same time, and I'm excited for hmm. all of you to try it. Oh, and as per usual, you can see game footage, uh, footage here. Uh, January 1st, 2019. Version 2 is out. This one adds a brand new feature, coins. When a coin is collected, a new row of blocks appear at the bottom of the screen. And you get 100 points. Other things changed in this version include new startup music. An aside, I've used previous charge in two games. Now, aside from this one, I really should have thought about changing this to being with. Uh, fix a bug where you sometimes gain, instantly gain 100 points on startup. <laughs> What's bonus? Wrong with that? Yeah. <laughs> Fixed a bug where an extra block would appear on startup. Fixed a, uh, an audio bug that played audio on startup if the sound was in the middle of playing you, when you lost. Made some animation tweaks. Of course, this is the first version we played, so we don't know what it was before. Fixed a bug where the game locked the block into the grid and gave you points for jumping on top of it. And if you did so, the frame before it locked in. Not sure what that is. Fix the bug where the score counter didn't carry digits correctly. Uh, honestly, I can't believe I didn't notice this one sooner. Uh, however, how embarrassing. I already found a bug related to the coins. If you collect a coin and then die within the next eight frames, the next game will start with an extra row popping up Whoa, it's the going rest faster. of the way. Whoa, it's... Uh, gone ahead and uploaded the fix. Edit 2 fixed another bug where the collisions at the very bottom of the screen didn't work correctly. There we go. So you can't let it go. You can't fall into the bottom, and you can't let it touch the top either. So you have to maintain kind of a happy medium. Yeah. The guy can jump really far, as opposed to Tower of Rubble, where he can only kind of move very slight amounts. But that one's a lot different. Ah. Ooh. Oh. Fun. 2054. Yeah, that's a fun game. It's it's, it's uh, You're supposed to break it is addictive. Blocks. It's yeah, you you do, and I didn't quite get that in the beginning because it went to the ceiling. But you have to kind of break them as as it goes. Uh, Blue swimmer. Honestly, the fact that it broke once it re reached the top was a giant bug. Oh. <laughs> but it actually makes you have to try and break it as it goes up too. It's like you're you're trying to keep it level the whole time. Yes, yeah, so you know, to keep it kind of you don't want it to go decent. too far into the quicksand. You don't want it to get too high either. So you can do that. Mm -hmm. You can run across yeah. an empty area. Yeah, oh, yeah. you found that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, just let more and more needs to fall. Ah, I need a coin. So they can build on quicksand. Ah, ah I need a coin. There's almost nothing left. Can they build on nothing but quicksand? You have to get out. I'm in trouble. Oh, let's see if that oh, block. Oh! Oh, I should have been. <laughs> oh, it can build on qu nothing but quicksand. Okay. Yeah, I can. Mm. 
Oh, that's a tactic. So you, if you yeah. get the coin, yeah, you better get the coin. Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> that's a terrible. One. Yeah, never, never jump in one spot. Not, no, not no. a good tactic. No, no. Oh hi! hi. Atari's back. You here to play some? Uh, play some games? Yep. Yeah. Tumble Temple. Tumble Temple. Yeah. Tumble Temple alliteration. Sounds like, a, sounds like a game Atari would play. I like tower. Tumble Temple. Oh, yeah. Huh. Restarts promptly dies. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you want to build up a pretty decent stack, I guess. You want to stay in the middle. And stay in the middle, too. I, yes. I do find it funny you that it's, it's not middle. supposed to end uh, when it hits the top, but I kind of like that. I think it works. It makes sense, because what is going to happen? You're going to you go can off get the screen. Squished. Yeah. You're, you're supposed to get smushed, so... Oh. Jump again. Oh. Oh. Always get the coins. Always. There's no reason not to get coins. Unless you're very near the top. Yeah. Well, there must be a point where you can no longer jump to the top levels, right? Mm. Oh, it's getting fast. Oh, and I and you don't want to be too high up because you can't see. <gasps> oh. oh. Mm. That is challenging. Mm. Death should be a painfully slow sink in the quicksand. That would be cool. Where you go, no. And a little <laughs> kind of song with sound as well. Atari the cute cat, Mr. Fix says. That he is. I like the font similar to Berserk. I had to tweak Berserk because the eights and zeros are backwards. Some OCD design thing. Oh, I also hate when uh, eights are upside down as well. Oh, that's terrible. I just got the big part on the, on the top. Mm. Got quite a stack there and it's getting bigger. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Now you're in a pit. Oh, oh that didn't work. To the right. That didn't work. <clears throat> Honestly, would be surprised if anyone got above 10k. Yeah. Oh, he caps it around 6k for speed. Gotcha. It sounds. You made it to 20 something? 2000 something? There you go. Maybe something should occasionally shoot you from the sides that you would need to avoid or jump over. Not a bad idea. Yeah. It would uh, definitely make it challenging. We've got an extra uh, extra player character, so you could definitely do that. I wouldn't make it too fast, though. <laughs> I'd make it somewhat slow, mm -hmm. because, yeah, like an arrow. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't quite hit the button at the right like time. A, like an arrow, somebody throwing a, a spear at you, because you're in a temple. Yeah. There's always spears <laughs> being thrown. Get it. Hi. Oh, so much love. You need love. Duck. Uh, that adds a whole huge mechanic. I don't know about ducking. Yeah, you could. I think just keeping it to jump. Left, right, and jump. Very simple. You just have to either get oh, sometimes I just get down or jump up to avoid the mm -hmm. the thing being thrown from the side. But you could definitely introduce that later, not yeah. right away. I don't want to jump yet. <laughs> Cause there's kind of want it to build up a little bit first. Yeah. Although um, breaking the blocks is how you get points, isn't it? Yeah, you only get one point <laughs> for every block. Yeah, so you down. kind of do want to. Break them eventually. Kind of, but not till there's enough to break. See, I'm like just destroying things. I don't want to really get it. It does go down pixel. every time it falls, though. One one uh, pixel? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it goes boom. Yeah, so you kind of. I kinda... was waiting for coins, pretty much. There we go. Yay, now I can. Oh, that was close. Now I can break some. Mm hmm. Can break it down quite a bit if you want. Oh, neither of us have ever tried jumping on a block, has it? I have. Oh, yeah. did you? I have done that, yeah. Oh, oh smooshed! So technically, you could maintain an even playing field if you keep doing that. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, yeah, you but you, 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 <laughs> no, you, you can't. jump off of something. That's yes. right. Mm. 
Oh, you can run across even if it's no matter what height it is. Mm. Mm, it's a pet. <laughs> Yay, coin! No pet. Need another coin. Boink. Oh, hit too early. Ah. This is one of those games that I put in the same realm as Wall what Jump Ninja. Doing? Like, I don't know. I don't know what classification it would be. It's like a puz puzzler platformer is how Blue Summer Pla was calling platformer? it. Platformer? Yeah. I want that. Oh, I forgot that I did yeah. that. You want to get that side down. You're not going to be able to jump up there. Ah! Yeah, see, you're screwed. Ah! Run over. There you go. Kill it. Oh, oh. that is a danger. Because you can go boom, 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 and bring yes. it right down. Yeah, that's right. It was a That was actually a bug initially, but I liked it, so I kept it. Whoa. Oh, the jumping on the blocks in midair. No, it's an amazing idea that it actually works, that you can jump on the uh, jump on a midair block. That's, that's smart to give you bonus. But it's dangerous because you're destroying the block you're jumping off of to jump on that block. So you're kind of killing two at once. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Blocks. <laughs> that's right. I don't know if you'd want to use that name, but maybe that's the unofficial fan title of it. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to obsess with the... Uh, synchronization of our voices afterwards because oh. <laughs> yeah. that's like part of my job <laughs> is synchronizing video and Aww. audio because i i make films and that's something i do something as work so it drives me crazy you. when it's not on yeah. because i'm so attuned to audio and video yeah. being in sync or not in sync oh. and i spent hours doing it for hours figuring out how to do it. And then I turn on the stream and it's terrible. Like a whole half second off, which is not even like barely wrong. It's really wrong. Oh, and also an update to the Atari Awards. Um, the uh, nomination um, committee is uh, now deliberating and uh, nominating games that came out in 2018. Um, so that is, oh, oh, into the pit. I meant to jump. There. So that is underway yes. and the, uh, public voting starts on January 23rd, mm. which is two weeks exactly away. Mm. We're going to have to try a, uh, a higher level <laughs> after this. Is there higher levels to start at? Well, it says level zero. Is that working, uh, yet, Blue Swimmer? coin need a coin i like the coin let the coins fall independently yeah of the blocks of the blocks and at their own speed yeah and so you can kind of get in trouble if you try and go for a coin because there could be a block coming down at the same time yep. it's wonderful uh you can't vote yet um it starts january 23rd the voting for the best games of 2018 um there is a lot of uh really good work in progress games up for uh nomination that is for sure mm -hmm. blue Swimmer says just press fire when the level is selected okay um you i don't know exactly where oh you're going to be able to vote yet but i'm hoping it's going to be in the atari age forums mm -hmm. i'm going to be testing that out very soon and if it is not there then i will let everybody know well ahead of time so they can register or whatever they need to do i hope it's not outside of the atari age forums oops i was looking right <laughs> um because then everybody would have to do something else uh and register somewhere else or something terrible like that but nobody wants that oh did i get it yep ah oh, no no You're creating a bit i can do it there we go oh, no <laughs> get down no. <laughs> Stop oh ending up in the hole. <laughs> Stop it. Barely able to get out of the hole. Oh. I do need to. Oh. oh. So 
smash. Okay. Smash, smash, smashy. Level one. No, two. You definitely made it to level one. Yeah? Two? Yeah. Yeah, it, they, it gets faster. Is that... No, I didn't make it this. Look no, you didn't make it to level two. You made it to level one. I'm saying oh. try level two, because we oh. haven't tried level two yet. We have to We have to legitimately make it to level two. <sighs> you can't just skip a level. This is way too quick. You have to, <laughs> you have to like, properly make it to level All one. All right. Properly make it to level two, I mean. Did we make it to this? This is pretty fast, too. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Oops. Yeah, it doesn't help if you run into it. No, it does not. Going right for you. It is. Level three is it's insane. insane. I can can't imagine. wait to try. Level two looked it pretty insane. Oh god. Oh god. Ah, ah, just missed it. Need it. Need the coins. It's like rem reminiscent of Tetris. I was gonna say it's like fast Tetris. Fast, because now you can see it when it's fast, but. Um, but things get bad in areas just like Tetris, where something's building up and, and then you're, you're hoping you're for matched. a straight yeah. piece. But the straight piece never comes. But in this game, the straight piece is the one that needs to fill in the gap. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's the same in Tetris, too. Yay! It went there. Yeah, the gap got filled. Oh, no! <laughs> it's too high! Ah! Ah! I think I can make it. Oh! oh. Woo, that's challenging. Oh my god. Uh, Blue Summer, I definitely did make some balance changes. I don't know. I don't know. It, it ramped up nicely when you play from level zero. So I, I don't... It's pretty good so far. I mean, if you want to start on this speed... Or you talk about level three being insane. Well, you don't have to. Start on level three. Ooh, big jump. Oh, you got some, some posts there in the middle of the quicksand. Oh. Try that again. Yeah. Oh, you're kidding uh -oh. me. I think you can jump that high though. Yeah. Ooh, not too low. Not too low. I think keeping it around three is good. Three to four. Is that because if you build up too high? You can't get out of the way of the blocks. But if you let it go too low, then... Uh -huh. oh. I did probably my best in the first first round I did. <laughs> Yay, coin! It is random, so you're hoping to get coins right away, but... I think that's what I'm going to try and do. Keep it three or four. No. <laughs> Blue Summer saying that he needs to make some balance changes and the speed ramps up a little too slow. Oh, I in don't... a normal game? Uh, uh, maybe you could increase it a tiny bit, but I, I, I don't think so. I don't think it's that bad. But level two seems pretty crazy. Yeah, but we. I haven't actually made it there yet. Yeah, not naturally. <laughs> not even from level one have we made it to level two. No. But I'm getting better at understanding tactics yes. and movement. The coin always falls the opposite side of the screen you're at. Nowhere near you. But at this speed, it kind of builds up itself fairly well. Not quite fast enough, but not too bad. Coin, please. The coin kind of fills in the gaps of the low parts. When you land on something you don't want to. Ah! Oh. Damn it. Okay, go for level two now. Ooh. See how long you can survive. <laughs> not very long. Oh. oh, no. Yeah, it's counterintuitive, but I do like the way <laughs> that, One point. that menu works. <laughs> you had one point. Because <laughs> you didn't destroy any blocks. I 
You can fall off the ends, right? Yeah, I'm sure you can. Just we haven't. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. squishes. Smoosh! See how long I can last in level two. Well, that's pretty fast. It is very fast. Oh, you got a coin oh right away. Oh my god. Look at that pile there. <laughs> Get that down. Ah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Oh my god. It's too fast. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. um, the sinking. Oh, it does happen every time. Mm -hmm. Or not. Mm -hmm. Not every time, does it? It happens with every landing. Nope. Every. Nope. It happens with every landing. Nope, not every landing. Every Almost third? every landing. I think on the other levels it does, but this one it doesn't happen with everyone. Maybe that's because it would go down too fast? Well, yeah, maybe. I'm gonna try it properly. Stop looking at how the game works. <laughs> really make room for yourself because there's not much time to move if you get built up too high. Down! Three? No, level two. No. Uh, the landing is constant on. <laughs> oh, landing is constant on all levels. Every fourth block doesn't sink. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't notice it on the first one, cause, probably because they just fell so slowly. I wasn't just, I wasn't noticing it. There's an invisible oh. wall on the sides. Oh, you can't yeah. fall off. Do I try three? I bet, I bet three yep. is insane. Yep, instant death. Oh no, it's not. It's not. Like out of control, it's very fast. <laughs> it's very fast. <laughs> it's like more like dodging. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. The problem is you don't jump any faster, so you can't really get out of the way very quick. Uh, invisible wall. We've never went against that. Whoa! What does that? <laughs> jump! 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 All in one spot. Well, random, I'm sure. Random for varying mm -hmm. levels of random. Mm -hmm. oh, sinks very fast now. Oh, oh. It, I jumped and it fell after I jumped. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 it was on the edge. Oh my goodness. Whoa. I guess if you've made wow, oh. if you've made it up to this level naturally, <laughs> yeah, then you're, gonna you're probably going to be okay. Um, so now let's see how how well we can do. Now that we've gone on those <laughs> hard levels, mm -hmm. sorry, James, suicide doesn't help. Uh -huh. oh, let me out of here. Coin, please. No. After level three, it seems incredibly slow. Yeah, so it's it's kind of like uh, when baseball players use that um, weight on the end of their bat. Oh. <laughs> to practice, and then they go for an actual swing. Yeah. The bat feels lighter. <laughs> so play in level three, and then go back to level zero. Then it feels like a breeze. You can tempt fate. <laughs> on the opposite side. That's how it works. Is that on purpose? <laughs> there we go. <gasps> oh, I tried to get up there. Smoosh. Oh, that was a terrible, mm. terrible go at it.
coin's always nice when you get it first. Oh, two coins! Got it made! Three coins! Sometimes you don't want too many coins. We're definitely missing uh, points because we're not jumping on blocks that are falling. Mm. Keep forgetting about that. Um, when does it switch levels? Is it at a point system? I'm, gu I'm guessing it is a point system because he says it's 6,000. That's when it maxes out. So I'm guessing every 2,000 because there's a level 3. The level 1 goes at 2,000. Level 2 goes at 4. Level 3 goes at 6. At every 1,000. Okay. Oh yeah, it was... Well, it kind of goes on level half, then level one, then mm. level one and a half, and then level two. Because the second level was not quite as fast as level one. Oh, max speed is 3,000. What, we, what were you saying 6,000 for? Was that a different game? Maybe that was a totally different game. <laughs> <laughs> that it was 6,000 and 10,000. Okay. So it's a 1,000 and 3,000 is a max? Okay, interesting. Oh, 6,000 was referring to the maximum score you could get. Oh, oh, just missed it. Well, 6,000 is pretty good. Mm. But you should be good at your own game. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Yep, agreed. Hmm. Barely blocks there, no blocks there. Oh, no. Blue Swimmer says, I don't even need the other two digits. Probably not. <laughs> that would be very difficult to even get to 10,000. Like, lasting that long after it hits the max speed at 3,000. <laughs> Nuts. Did you make it to 2,000 something? 24 or something. Wow. So you that were was my playing, first turn. So you were playing at level 2 for no, that long. I don't think so. That's what he says. It oh. goes up a level every 1,000. Oh, and maybe. I thought I was at 2,000. Maybe I was only at 1,000. So no, you're at 2. I thought so too, but I don't think I was going oh, that fast. Go. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll have to look at the footage. Squish. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Decent build up. It's funny, you can stand in the middle of two blocks. Yeah. And land and do both of them without moving. How does it decide which one to go? I guess if you're more on the left, it Maybe. goes first. That's pretty interesting. Mm hmm. I'm sure it has some way of determining what should be. What should go first? Yeah. yeah. I think it prioritizes the left. Mm. So if I was mostly on the right. It would be yep, it does prioritize the left. You are correct, Blue mm -hmm. Swimmer. <laughs> person who made this game. Yeah. <laughs> who actually knows how it was programmed. Yes. <laughs> ah, Aww. not worth it. Oh, I didn't even make it a thousand. Sacrifice. Oh, I have to make it at least a thousand. Mm -hmm. I'll get a hundred for the coin. It's pretty yeah. good. Go. Ten try, for try each block. Get... I'll try and get points faster. <laughs> Seven hundred already. See, mm. you can get up really quick if you jump on. Ugh, stuck down there. Jump on the blocks while they're falling. So you're at 2,000. Oh, that's how you get super high scores. Yeah. By jumping on the blocks. Oh my god. And you just jumped two levels at once. I did. <laughs> and <squish>. And smoosh. <laughs> that must have been how I got a high score. Really. Yeah, that's really fast. Maybe you want to cut down the amount of points you get for jumping on a falling block. You get 200 there. 
I just jumped by two models in like no time at all. Yeah, I already at a thousand almost. And you're at a thousand. Oh! oh. Thought I was just over a, sl a slight bit more. Yeah. And you need to keep the high score too. That is definitely something you need to, mm -hmm. to do. Oh. Tricky move. Yeah, definitely. Going that. around a block. That <laughs> definitely works. It's harder though. Do you just have to touch them? No. no. You have you, to be above You have a to be, level. I guess, even or above. Yeah. Because that wouldn't make sense. Nope. Almost got three coins in. Four! My goodness, it's a lot of coins. Coins! Money from heaven! Coin? You can jump really far in this game. I need to get this down. This is getting out of control. Ah! Got hit 2,000 really fast there. Oh, you can get an 800 combo if you combo a lot. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is a lot of points. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah, you're at 1,000. Two thousand. How'd you get to two thousand so quick? Comboing. <laughs> ah, ah, it's too fast. It needs to build up a little. It's too scary. Ah, ah. Ooh, three thousand. Good job. Good job. Yeah, it wraps up too fast. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm good. good? I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Because that was level three speed, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's out of control. Like you can barely. You can barely. Get, <laughs> oh, that was my fault. Yeah. You can barely get out of the way, especially if it's built up at any level. I can barely dodge them at that speed. <laughs> yeah. Let alone jump because yeah. you force your head into it. Ah. Ah. Ah, Ooh. level three is insane. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah, game. fun I can't game. Wait to see what else you do with it, especially things from the side. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, it says the player's Y value just needs to be higher than the block's Y value. Mm -hmm. So if you are just a bit higher, then you're fine. Last two have both been nice. Love to see new twenty six hundred yes, games. Yes, oh, very yes. fun. So all new, well except for the burger. The uh, Chaotic Grill. Mm. And I guess he's sticking with that name. I like that. There was um, a bunch of suggestions. Some that had alliteration. I think I one that a lot of people liked. I can't remember what that was. Chaotic Chef or mm. something like that. Or something Grill and it was G Grill. Um, so let's take a look at see all the games that we played today. Um, so we played Daredevil. Mm -hmm. which was uh, a lot of fun. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I mean, it's yeah. simple and, and fun. And like I said, it has that kind of Frogger feel where you're just dodging. You're trying to dodge and get past things. Yeah. And, except that you're constantly you're forced, moving. Yeah, yeah where you're, your fro frog is like being pushed, pushed across down. the road. Yeah, it's true. true. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to all the additions that he's going to put into yeah. that. Because that's yeah. that's really new game. Mm -hmm. Very first iteration. Chaotic Grill. Ooh. So good. It's mm -hmm. coming along so well. Beautiful. Yeah, um, yeah. And anything from now on in is just going to start improving it. Yeah. yeah. No, um, it's great. <laughs> uh, Shark uh, Jaws Plus made a, a very simplistic arcade game into something a little a little fun game. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, so that's that's lots of fun. Thanks, Wink Dot, for that. Yeah. Um, I can't see. Can't wait to see uh, what else you put into that. Yeah. Um, Snowflakes 2018, very straightforward. Yeah. Simple game. Catch Fun the snowflakes. And hard. And hard. Because you have to move really fast. Yeah. You have Obviously to, better with You the have to be paddle. very, very um, in control of your paddle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to to do well at the game. But no, a fun game. Fun little game. And uh, Tumble Temple, really good. Awesome. 
Uh, I can't wait to see how that develops as well. Yeah. With additions, maybe stuff come from the side on higher levels. Well, I don't even. I I don't even think that. I think just the falling bricks. I mean, the I other thing. I think it ramps up too fast, though. Possibly. I mean, you could have more levels and a slower ramping up I too. Because so. you can get yeah. to it in like a minute. Yeah. To get to the highest speed, mm -hmm. and this highest speed is way too fast, too early. Yeah. Um, so a little bit of adjustment there. I can see what but he it, means it's now. it's very cool, though. With that, yeah. at first we were like, what? Ramping up? <laughs> it's too fast? Are you crazy? Yeah. And they're like, oh, that's how you get lots of points quick. Yeah. So either slow down the points or make the ramp up slower mm. with the same amount of points. Um, so that is a great bunch of games. A um, lot of fun. Yeah. So let's take a look and see what's coming up in the schedule for zero page here so we're going to be pl oh uh, yeah i forgot to say erlen's not here because oh, he's very yeah. sick he's sick yeah uh we the sketch show was scheduled for seven hours ago originally yeah. in the morning yeah uh, 11 a.m our time um but he got really sick and called in and, and said he couldn't make it um so hope he gets better yes soon if you're watching this i doubt yeah. it <laughs> but yeah. You're probably too sick Unfortunately, to watch. yeah, it's it's flu season and everything, so it's yep. not a good time of the year. But uh, yep. yeah, hopefully he'll feel, he'll feel so better, he'll be back so. next Wednesday. Yeah. Um, and on Friday, Darcy will be here. Okay. But you wanted to play some games anyway. No, I did, and I was complaining, and he's like, "Oh, Erlen's coming Wednesday, and Darcy's coming Friday." I'm like, "What?" And then Erlen's coming again Wednesday. And I'm and like, "I, I don't, don't get, get to play any games. What weeks. are you talking about?" Two weeks. <laughs> so no games. Yeah. But, uh, no, I do want Erlen to be well, too. So yes. <laughs> I'm not trying to, you know, push him out or anything. So, Aww. yeah. This and little Atari's guy. Here. Yes, Mr. Fix, thank you for the lovely compliment. And I agree, we, they're perfect cats. Excellent hosts, yes. excellent games, and perfect yes, cats. Yes, I, uh, I think they're... You don't see them when they're bad. No. You only see them when they're super cute. Well, no, they're pretty bad sometimes they when do. they're in they here. Jump, <laughs> they jump around things. Yeah, yeah. They are pretty bad sometimes. Yeah. So next week we're going to play uh, Miss Galactopus, which we actually haven't played. We've played hacks of Miss Galactopus. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's kind of funny we played the hack oh, first me. before yeah. the original game. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the yawn. No, it's the beer. The beer does it to me. Yeah. Uh, we're going to play Breakout 2000, which is a bizarre game. It's mm. bizarre. Uh, it's barely a game. It's mm. super crazy. Um, and we're going to play Dot, which is a collection of mini games. It's about eight mini games. Mm -hmm. They're all really cool. I love little mini games, yeah. Um, and Dot is made by, let me get that name again, Simo. Uh, and uh, their games always include, the music is kind of a randomly generated music, so it always mm -hmm. sounds crazy and weird. But um, a whole bunch of really simple, fun mini games. So that's going to be, uh, that's mm -hmm. going to be really fun. Zybot says, I prefer the show nights as I can night watch shows. the night shows as yeah. I can watch them live. Yeah. Oh, no. Now we've everyone's got to fight. Different. Yeah, everyone's different. All of Europe wants the early shows because yeah. right now it's like two or three or four in the morning. Well, that's why you just have a bit of variety, right? That's right. Because you know, Wednesdays. A few in the morning, a few in the evening. Wednesdays are early. Fridays are late. Yeah. Or Fridays are sometimes early if Darcy's here in the morning. Oh, that's true. So it's, it's a, a little. It's, it's, it's a mix. Yeah. So some you can catch live, some you don't. If you're on the west coast of Canada yeah. or U.S., you catch them I, all I can't come in the morning because I'm working, so right. so if, if I'm here, then normally it has to be in the evening. Um, yeah. And then there's two shows where I haven't scheduled anything yet, but uh, we're probably going to be playing the ColecoVision mm. uh, game that's being sent over, Homebrew, on the next Wednesday, hopefully, if it comes here. Mm -hmm. um, but the Wednesday after that, on the 23rd, we're going to start getting into... All the Atari Award nominated games. So these are all the games that the nomination board thought were super cool. Mm. We're going to run through them so everybody out there can see them. Cool. And kind of evaluate them on their own. Okay. Because that is actually the first day of voting. Cool. Um, for everybody out there. So you Excellent. can watch the games I'm playing. Yeah. Um, I won't be able to play all of them the first day. So... <laughs> Don't vote immediately, I yeah. guess, because I'll yeah. only be playing some have, of them. Have a look at them, unless you know all yes. the games, then that works. And too. if you've been watching the show, you would know a good portion of the games that are up for. And I'm sure a good portion of them you've played, so they yes. can always look at the old YouTube videos That's if they right. want to have a look at them too. So. Yeah, so I'm probably going to first concentrate on ones I haven't played. 
To play is, first. To yeah. play first, which is probably a good. This. Sorry. <laughs> oh. I also Honestly, don't get enough sleep, so yes, that's, that's the other true. part of it. Um, yeah. uh, so I'm going to do that for at least two episodes of mm. the nominated games. Maybe more, depending on how many games get nominated, because mm. there could be all different games for each category. Or they could be all the same game. Well, there's not a, it's impossible for that, but mm. mostly the same games for every category. But who knows? And then on February 23rd, we're live on a Saturday. Crazy. Uh, for the award show. Yes. And all the hosts are going to be here. Yay. We're going to have Tanya. We're going to have Darcy. We're going to have Erilyn. We're going to have me. Yeah. And we're all going to switch around and all present the awards yeah. for all the best games of 2018. Yay. That's going to be lots of fun. Yeah. So I have to get prepared for that. I've got a green screen upstairs. Mm -hmm. I have to make a bunch of graphics, um, mm -hmm. arrange a bunch of stuff. But everything is going smoothly so far. Yeah. The actual physical awards are, have been ordered. Can't wait to see what they look like and show them off to everyone. It'll be lots of fun. Mm -hmm. I should uh, check in and see if how they're doing. How they're doing, whether they've been shipped. Uh, it's been radio silence since I've paid the money. Yeah. <laughs> they ran off with my money well, yeah. and closed up their massive shop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just because I paid them. No. Yeah. Um, yeah. And of course, there are unscheduled games there's dan kitchen's gold rush and dan kitchen's bon voyage at some point excellent coming up uh oh yeah risky wreck that's the name of the ColecoVision game risky wreck okay. either next wednesday or friday oh cool um so that is it for us yes i think we're going to be back on friday at noon with darcy as the coast co-host sitting there mm -hmm. as long as he's not sick or something hopefully he's fine he hopefully seems he's fine. fine fingers crossed if he's sick it'll be 6 p.m with, yeah <laughs> with, with me Tanya again <laughs> yeah. the default host yes. default co-host i i'm kind of a live-in so <laughs> yeah what can you do forced just forced like the cats play. just yeah. like the cats they're forced yeah. to watch us play <laughs> oh atari loves just loves being around people oh so. it's full yeah. of cat hair my i know shirt. your shirt that just shows i was close to the kids. i know he's so sweet Come um here. so thanks for everybody for tuning in come here, come here. Uh, oh. just say oh oh, oh. sorry nice so he's visible um, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. So thanks to... Oh. I'll put you on the screen there. You can see what you look like. Yeah. Thanks to Wink Dot and Splendid Nut, Zybot67, yeah. Mr. Fix, Blue Swimmer, uh, Ice Bosta, mm -hmm. Gretums, RC7E. Is that how you just say it? You just say the... Oh, yeah. They said it was a randomly generated name last RC7E. Um, who else spoke? I say Splendid Nut, I think I did. Gretams. Gretams, I said. Retro, Retro Happy, Happy Hour. Hour. Who had to check out early, I believe. Yeah. Uh, who else was talking at the top? I think I covered everybody who was talking. Mm -hmm. And thanks for, to everybody who just, other streams just say RC. Okay. I'll shorten it RC. Let's see. <laughs> thanks to everybody who was watching as well, live and on YouTube as mm -hmm. well. And try and catch us live if you can, if you're watching uh, YouTube, because... A ton of people watch on YouTube after, which is great. Yeah, yeah, it's you get really, quite a really few good. views. Yeah, no, it's good. Um, so thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on yeah. Friday. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wait, bye bye, bye, -bye Atari. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> bye. Bye.